DJ, guy, how much did you uh, get? I ended up getting like 16 of them. All right, we're going live on YouTube, nice. boys. Here we go. I got to get a hold of you, DJ. Yeah, I got we're a couple. Streaming. <laughs> I traded old uh, Evil Empire for the the Three Ring Circus. I basically got. Thanks, right? Yeah, I think I had the. Um, I don't know. I got all of them now. I had to trade him a couple runs for it. If, if you're willing to part oh, with right. one, you name your price, my brother. Name your price. Oh, mm. uh, no, you already like hooked perfect. me. You already hooked yeah. me. Up. They're looking for the Rons to go to the highest bidder here. They're auctioning off the Rons. Jeez. <laughs> I don't have any. <laughs> I, got I, I I know a guy. He's an Instagram famous. He's got about like 30 of them. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't yeah. smoke all those yet, Mark, did you? Not no, no. Mark, could you slide that? Could you slide your, your Yeti over to the right a little bit? There you go, perfect. Right there. <laughs> he still fit. <laughs> that's pretty there sad. That's pretty sad. The Yeti's right. just as the Yeti's just as tall as him. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> Listen here, you are oh, wow. going on, motherfucking <laughs> Listen, follow the yellow brick road and you'll go right home. So we can reach the floor. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Word. <laughs> so all I gotta say is this: this cigar here tastes like horseshit. Tastes like wow! Wow! This cigar. You look, you look at me, Florida. I'd smack you if you were closer. Wow! He's an angry little midget. Yeah. You must be a South Pole elf. Oh shit. Well, I I got to say, you know, this is the second time having this stick. First time I had it when you guys told us to try it during the process and everything. And I got to tell you, it tastes a lot sweeter and better, man. It's just forget that, about it. Got your name on it. Come on now. What's that, sir? Is that because you got your name on it now or what? No, it's nah, sexier. This, this it's some... sexier because the name's on it. But <laughs> well, it's not your picture because then we have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely had some good age it's on not, the stick not, right it's now. Not, it's not Gordo enough. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Don't forget, you're gonna need somebody to pick you up from your car to the curb Thursday. I ain't gonna do it. Oh shit! It's okay. <laughs> oh boy! You walk you walk out of the out of the shop with five flats. Mm. All good. <laughs> How's that burning, guys? It's burning nice. It's got a nice burn to it. Oh, look at that. Ray's got a nice Ray's jaw line. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, Ray's nice got a nice jaw line. Yep. Stacking dimes, bro. Dimes. We're stacking dimes, bro. Yeah, John, throw your little promo. We're live on YouTube on our YouTube channel. So I don't know if anybody's watching it, but it's gonna it's gonna go up on the thing so people can see it. So you want to go do do your little spiel? Do your little spiel. So it's the Devil's Advocate collaboration stick with the cigar clowns and the Devil's Enclave. It's dropping this Thursday, the 21st, at Stick Cigar Lounge, Summers Point Cigar Lounge, and Main Street Cigar Lounge is the event in Woodbridge. It drops at one o'clock. It's phone mm -hmm. orders only. There's no internet orders. It's all by phone. So you got to dial up one of them three shops in order to get in. Uh, Main Street, once the phone orders are sold out, they will have some left over for the event. So don't worry if you're coming to the event, they will be there. It's a six by 54 box press, Habano wrapper, Nicaraguan Puro, and it's fire. Mm -hmm. And it tastes like a Nicaraguan Puro, FYI. Yeah, the stick is fire. This is a great stick, man. And like all other clown sticks, guys, once they're gone, they're gone. They're very limited run. 
<laughs> How was that, right? That was good. Very, very was good. That, was that your I practice? You that, that was my practice. I will tell I got you, my notes and everything. <laughs> I will tell you that this is a medium, but very full body. It's got a lot of flavor to it. Not a lot of spice, if any at all. Very, yeah. I don't it's think just there's very, much spice in here. Very, yeah, very smooth. There's not a lot of spice. It's just got a lot. It's got a couple of transitions in it. I can't really give you much to that because I have no fucking sense at all whatsoever. So, that's a nice draw, though. Nice. Is there, is there a, a stick that you guys put out? I'm talking going towards the clowns on this one that it could kind of resemble, or is it just different from all? Flavor profile wise, it's very different. Definitely different than 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 shit that we've done. We liked it because it was different. That's why we liked mm-hmm. it. And that's why we presented it to John and Frankie. We were like, this is different than what we're normally putting out, but it's got it, it's because it's a puro, it fucking just it's it hits all the right spots, in my opinion. And it passed all the testing, you know, as far as construction and you know, output is concerned and smoke output is concerned. It's a nice size. We're big fans of box press. So this is something else that we wanted to put out there because it's another box press. You know, we we well, I, I mean, listen, if I could do a box press every run, I would. <laughs> I'm not even gonna fucking lie. I really would. I love box press. It's one of my favorite fucking presses besides a regular Toro. But my ideal size is six by fifty. That's my that's my go to size. But I mean, between you know the jack and this, and then the box press and Andreas that we did for OGT, you know, it's you can the box press speaks for itself. It is. And it's And it's funny because when when I first had this stick, it was me, Ray, Nick, and Danny. We were at Main Street Cigar Lounge, and we were in the process of trying to figure out a stick and this, this, and that. So Nick turns around, and he said to everybody, here, try this stick. I got this stick. Let's try it, blah, blah, blah. So we're smoking it, and we're like halfway through, and he's like, what do you think? He says to me, and I said, I said wow, this thing is great, man. I said, you guys, this is your next stick? And he, he turns around and, and Ray turns around and, and he's like, it's our next stick. I said, what do you mean? He goes, that's your stick. That's the stick we're going to put out. And I was just like floored. It was like banging. So you know, I said to Nick, I said, do you have like another one? I said, because I got I to gotta try one with Frankie. So Nick says, yeah, take these two. Go smoke it with Frankie. So I go all the way up to Queens the following week. I don't need to fucking see him. And I said to Frankie, I said, hey, I said, let's smoke a stick. We're outside this club. And he's like, what do you got? I said, I don't know. Just something I got. No band, no nothing. So let's try it. So we're smoking it. And Frankie, you got to take, take it from there, bro. The prick is sitting across from me, and I'm smoking it. And I'm loving it. So I go to him. I go, what is this? He goes, yeah, keep smoking, keep smoking, keep smoking. I get, I'm <laughs> about halfway through. And he goes, you like it? Like and I was like, yes, yeah, I'm That's thick. And I was like, what's thick? That's gonna be thick. And I was like, get the fuck out of here. And he was like, that's the one. Oh, I'm... Myself outside, right up outside of my club. John had to go get the mop. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Frankie gave a whole new meeting moist. And we both sat there. We, we nubbed this thing. Like down to the bottom, and you know what? Some cigars, when you nub them, your fingers start to burn, where you, you feel the heat and everything. Bro, nope. Nothing. This was phenomenal, right down to the nub. Yeah, it's very cool to the touch. Can't wait. I, I think I was at Main Street when when I think I remember that conversation. I think I was sitting there too. Yeah, you were there, Mark. Yeah, you and I uh, was. I think Frank. I think Frank was. Because I remember when you, when they said that this is going to be yours or something like that. And I, I remember seeing you like, that's cool. And the transition. Yeah. Ooh, smooth transition. Yeah, I just had a transition right now. How far the, in? The, the drawer is unbelievable. I'm like this. I'm okay. like this so far in. Right on I'm the like tail end of the first. It's got sweet, a little fruity floral. complexity to a sweet. Yeah. yeah. I was a retro oh, hill, yeah. Oh, the retro hills, forget about it. Yeah, that retro is hills, beautiful. There you go, Bart. There you go. Bart stacking them dimes. Take that Wait. all day long. Hey, we're stacked though. I'm stacking fucking dimes, guys. Yeah, Ray right, stacking yeah, look dimes. Look at that. You got Ray. You got a straight burn going on there. Look at that. 
Yeah, I don't know how straight shooter. I got a little bit. I can speak. I can. I can. I can speak for Florida. I can speak for all the partners, man. I mean, honestly, we we're, we're honored and thrilled to be doing this with with you guys. I mean, that's a given. You know, we, we're glad that we you know decided to do this collaboration with you guys, being the first ones that we've done a collaboration with. You know, being a brand. And, um, you know, we're looking forward to all you guys who haven't gotten it yet when it drops this weekend of you guys getting it. We're very excited for you guys to try it. We think you're going to love it. It's your first one. So nurture it, care for it, smoke it, stock it. Don't smoke all of them because once they're gone, like we said, they're gone. So make sure you put a couple of sides on the matrix. This is going to be a really good, this is going to be a really good stick when it ages a little bit. I could tell you that much. And then, uh, you know, so, so, uh, John and Frankie, when's, uh, when's the devil's enclave stick coming out? That's not a collaboration. Uh, hopefully we're, uh, within the next four weeks, we're going to be talking to you guys to, uh, the next stick coming out, uh, won't be a collaboration stick, but it'll be a clown made stick for the devil's enclave. They're going to make Joe, Joe, do we have Joe, Joe, we got to check our calendar yes, and see when we can fit these guys. We have a very, very busy schedule coming out. Uh, these wow, guys, we Joe, it's like in. that Joe. It's like that we Joe. We can squeeze <laughs> these guys in. No, no, no. These guys will squeeze right in. Don't worry. Well, well, I'll, I'll look at my. I was gonna meet with Jojo, a couple of Danny, senators, but we'll put them right in. We'll put them right in. <laughs> but definitely, we want to thank you guys for for giving us the opportunity to do this. You guys blessed us by by you know working with us and stuff, and it it was phenomenal because how it all went down. This has been going on since October, November. But before that, the clowns were our second guests on our hearth. We just started the club; they were our second guests on. And Ray, we had a full house. It was like 30 people on. We had all the clowns on except for maybe one. I think Nick wasn't there because he had to do something in Munchkin land. They were having a problem there with the big, you know. They only come so up with the witch. He had to take care of the wicked right. witch. So, and, and Nick, Ray was like in the middle of the hearth and he goes. Nick only comes on when I invite him. That's right, Frank. Man. Oh. <laughs> and, and, and Ray was like, you know, it would look good on a stick. And we were like, what? And he's like, you're banned. And the whole earth just that. shut up. My guys just that. shut up. And I'm getting texts like crazy. Did he just say they're going to put our, our, our logo on a stick? And I'm like, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Calm down. Everybody relax. <laughs> <laughs> so then Christmas time, we're at Main Street at a, at a party that the clowns were having with Christmas. This, is that, and everything else. And Ray turns around and he says, we doing this or what? And I'm like, what? What are we doing? We do- we're going to do a stick? And I call Frankie right away. I said, Frankie, they want to know if we want to do a stick. What do we want to do? Frankie's like, do the fucking stick. Shut up and do the stick. <laughs> uh, why are you even calling me? What the fuck? <laughs> and, and then it, it's been a process since October. And, you know, they made it easy for us. It, it was great. The designing of the band, Frankie and Ray designed the band together. That was all them. They did the band. And it came out beautiful. And the naming of it and everything. And I, I couldn't have been more honored for you guys to do this for us. I mean, this is phenomenal. We appreciate it too, guys. Believe me. It's flattering that you guys want to be part of what we're doing. It's, it's you know, a lot of people don't get it. do get it. So we, you know, we're enjoying it too. It's nice to see people enjoying what we're doing and being excited about it. I mean, it was definitely a no-brainer. Every Everything you guys are touching, you're putting out phenomenal stuff. It, it, it was a no-brainer, and you know, to be honored to work with you again to do our first stick, the club first stick. I mean, that's just awesome, and, and we thank you for that. Absolutely. The product well, speaks for itself, I'm boys. I'm glad it turned out to be the way it did because it's a it's a banger. Oh, my favorite clown just hopped on. What's up, Danny? What's up, boys? Oh, Danny, up, Danny? Danny? I was a little late, Damn. but I got Nick. I don't know, I Nick, Nick, I don't know if you. I, Nick, I don't know if you know this, but fucking Danny hates you. <laughs> he fucking hates you so much. Cause Danny, I'm sorry. I don't want to let the cat out of the bag, but I'm, I'm, he fucking hates you. Oh, my God, he hates you. He hates you, do Nick. Hates you. We, won't, we won't air out dirty laundry. <laughs> Listen, Joe, sorry, Joe. The only one I hate right now is you because you're sitting in 86 degrees and we're freezing our asses off. That's mm. it. That's all right, boy. Somebody has to go. To be up here suffering with us, but right now, mm. it's a little jealous. Joe, I have one <laughs> right. I have a request, Joe, while you're out there. Can you bring back some of the heat? I'll try. I'll try. I can't guarantee it. 
I, I can definitely uh, fart in the jaw for you and, and, and close it up tight. <laughs> you know, they make uh, money for that. Yeah, man. Sure. I'm just, you know, I can definitely do that for you. Well, your fart smell like cotton candy, but. It might. I'll get some cotton candy. And I'll let you take a whip and see see what's what. Just and put, we'll, put we'll, the we'll cotton candy in the jaw. Put the cotton candy we'll in the jaw before you fart me. I think it's a great way to raise some money for charity. Will Nikki smell my fart jaw? <laughs> yep. I think we can raise a couple hundred bucks. You see that? If you make, I'll pay top dollar. Yeah, there you go. Uh, All listen, right. we're they, they, they make those jelly beans that taste like all the different like horrible flavors. Oh yeah. uh, my god! You know, <laughs> my kids went through that shit too. Uh, vomit and shit. Oh, horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Nick says he's gonna smoke whatever he put in his hand, guys. I don't know. He's fucking desperate over here. Uh, so, yeah. How was uh? How was everybody's uh Easter? How was that? It was great. It sucked. Very nice. Oh. Quiet. 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 That's always good, though. A little, oh. little break. A little relax. Wow. Well, I am getting berries on, on this stick. Anybody else getting berries right now? Well, I don't know where everybody's at. We're open for bark or floor. What kind of <laughs> yeah? What kind of berries? Fresh manure. Mm. <laughs> dingle. Bar- it's, it tastes like dingle. Bar- like, not dingle berries. Not, 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 not dingle berries. I'm getting like a sweet berry flavor. I don't know. I love this stick right now. Yeah, this stick is phenomenal. Bro, I just dropped the ass, son of a bitch. I'm an asshole. I just hit a transition in this bounce the arrow. Mm-hmm. Joey Vampire, what's up, handsome? Joey's what up, here. what up? Did you guys do our shirt with this label? With just chilling in the back, you know. Mm-hmm. Oh, Go watch that quiet guy back there. <laughs> it was quiet when he's with us. I watch his show, he's talking like crazy. <laughs> he's with us, he's just quiet, hey, doesn't say that, nothing. This ain't my show, man. <laughs> I'm just here to watch. Listen, I watch your John, show. You I, go, I can't believe that's you, the Joe. Are you I sending sticks that's out like, to John? Are you sending out sticks to uh, to Joe and, and Danny? Yes, I will be sending out some sticks to Joey and Danny. Joey, in fact, had me, Frankie, and Nick on his show the other night talking about the stick, which we appreciate big time. And Thank I apo- I apologize to Joey for not having the stick that we could smoke together. But I told him once I get it, I will send it out to him and. He's going to put us back on another show, and we're going to smoke the stick together. Yeah. Boston Jimmy, what's up? How you guys doing? What's up, Jimmy? What's up, Boston Jimmy? Hey. Yeah. Is it a Bengals hat night or what? What's up, Jimmy? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> turn the light on. Hold on a second. It's dark. John, John, John Aldi just got a heart on right now. Yeah, yeah. Aldi, Aldi got all excited. Boston. <laughs> Boston <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. He's, He's all excited. excited. <laughs> at the game on the on the laptop. I don't I, I don't know what kind of uh, like hats you know those bees are. The only ones I can think of are like the Bengals, right? The Bengals. Or Blue Jays, maybe. The, do no, the Blue, Jays, Blue Jays, Jays ain't got no bee on their hat. <laughs> Buffalo, right? Right, Joey? You know yeah. Buffalo? Buffalo. Oh, maybe. Brooklyn. The Brooklyn Dodgers. The Brooklyn the Dodgers. Brewers. Dodgers that be on the hat. Brooklyn. The Brewers. Gotcha. That's what it must be. The <laughs> I gotta steal uh, login so I can watch the games down in South Carolina. I can't get shit right here, man. Mm, that's all right. You're not you're, you're not missing much. Don't worry about it. MLB.com. <laughs> I don't miss a game. You go MLB.com. I don't miss a single game. Yep. Even watch spring this. training games from my house. That fucking team. Is- you just need to know the Yankees are winning right now, Aldi. That's all you need to know, bro. <laughs> all right, we're tied. We're tied for second place. Stop it. Toronto. Toronto is the is the team to be watching this year. They're, they're dangerous. Yes, I would agree with that. Between Vlad and Vlad Junior, just hits absolute piss missiles. No, not for nothing, but with the new rules in the wild card. There's a really solid chance that all wild cards in the American League come out of the East. 
Oh, God, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, mm-hmm. Yankees, Red Sox, Blue Jays, Toronto, and, and, and uh, Rays. Yep. Couldn't agree more. Right down the line. Joe, I'm starting to get that, that flavor that you were saying, Joe. Mm-hmm. Cigar clowns, I'm starting to get yeah, that. There you go. Here's a fun fact. If you double tap uh, AirPods, it kicks you out of uh, the Zoom that you're in. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I learned that before, Joe. Every day learning. <laughs> How's that Ron treating you? Oh, this is good. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Mm-hmm. But that's, not your, that's not your first run, DJ, right? No. No, no, DJ okay. was just saying how he uh he freaking robbed the whole shop out of all their runs. He took the only. <laughs> I, I, I had to go. I had to go talk to the manager. Like they wouldn't let me buy like only three of them. But I was like, dude, I'll buy every single one you got. They, they came out yeah. a year ago. That limit per person should be done with. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. After ninety days, that deal should be done. Mm-hmm. Well, like I said, it came from a Davidoff fucking. Lounge and they all those all the uh, all the dudes that work in the humidor. That's all they try to press or push is the Davidoffs and all that stuff. And good, they of had no idea what they had. They had no idea what they had. Good, fucking gold mine. The yeah. LCA called them up and said, "All right, yeah, I'll take those," and just shoved them mm-hmm. to the side. You know, yep. and that's how I is found it? them. I found I didn't even find them on the shelves. I saw them just hanging out. I was like, "Holy shit!" I need I, those. I, I, I got to say, that's probably the the biggest problem we have as a brand, you know, with us, with us sticks in shops, the the new shops, they don't, the people in the shop don't know us, they haven't smoked it. And if it's the manager and, you know, the the cigar person, uh, I don't know what, what's the proper term from the the cigar bar guy, whatever, Um, if, if they, you know, if they don't tell the people what the stick is. How's anybody going to know about it? Especially like if a, if a shop owner or a manager there, they don't, they're not reluctant okay. to try something new that comes in this way. They yeah. could voice on it as a, their, their, you know, their what? friends or their normal customers are that? going, Hey, check this out. If they're not going to try it themselves. Okay. Exactly. That's going to happen. It's just going to sit there. Yeah. And that's like any other shop you go uh, into, like, they should, whenever a new stick, whether it be yours or a new stick yeah, comes out, here they should require their employees to, today, to smoke it. Come. So when somebody or, comes in, they yeah. can say, hey, when you say, how's this stick? They should say, hey, this is always oh, great. I smoked it. We're here. Try this. You know, yeah. these, these guys are putting out baggers. But nobody does that anymore. No. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, obviously, if, you, if a stick's coming out, let's just say today, you know, they didn't get delivered today. They got to make sure that they have them for the day that comes out, you know, the day before, like, all right, here, it's the end of the night. Try this out this way. If someone comes in tomorrow, like you said, no one's doing that. You know. No one's putting it up on the front counter or at least a couple of them. All right, check these out. I got some sitting inside. They've been in the humidor for the past couple of days. Get, grab one of those. But at least people will see it front and center. What is that when they're paying for whatever else they get? Well, that's that, why that, you have to go digging underneath the shelves. Yeah, the crazy thing. They bury them. I, I, I've been to that place like I don't know countless of times and not seen them. Somehow I fucking caught it out the corner of my eye. I was like, "Holy yeah, fucking yeah!" yeah. <laughs> your your eye your eyes are going to be open now everywhere you go. Yeah, right? yeah, for sure. Down on the bottom, underneath the shelf. Yeah, that's where shit you know it. DJ you know went and played the too, pick man. six that night. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> it's, it's, it's funny too, man, with these LCA sticks because it's even like Katie from Provada Cup in Chicago found a, oh a bunch of rounds that this guy had. But a lot of you know what's funny too, man. A lot of these shops, believe it or not, there's a lot of shops that sell out of the LCAs. Like I know shops, local shops, and other shops that sell out of the LCAs when they come out quick. And I, you know, and I guess it depends on the drop too. You know what I mean? Like, uh, understandably so. But you know, like a lot of these shops, man. You go to a lot of these shops, even like sticks. They have a lot of LCA shit that they still have on the shelf. He's still he's still got a full box of the uh, the twenty one LCAs in his shop. He's got yeah. Lady Killers. He's got Robot Robot Fumadors. He's got the Blue Havens. He's got a lot of LCA sticks. There's still a lot of them out there. I found something that has that that white box. What was it? The twenty one you just said? Yeah, that was twenty one. Twenty one. Yeah. I found, really I found a place stick. recently. They had they they got boxes. It was just sitting there. Yeah, 
Mm-hmm. That's it. They got to have some nice you know shit going on believe, them by now. I believe, uh, honestly, man, with the LCA, I feel like a lot of these sticks, you know, a lot of them are the more demand than other ones that come out. That's the hard the part, I think. Speaking breaking, of the devil, there yeah, they are. Breaking people. <laughs> I sent you guys the uh, name of the place down uh, here. We're just talking about you guys. What you guys, the Israel? <laughs> we're just talking about your we're just talking about your Ron find. I found more. More. You found no. more. More Rons? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Buy them up. You better start throwing those things on eBay. The top dollar for those oh, babies. Oh, oh. Mr. Guard, <laughs> the uh, Flacco wow, action today. Uh, that's, the Flacco tonight. Katie go. actually oh. smoked the Ron. Not too long ago, for the first time, when you got got those bundles last week. Yes, I did. Oh yeah, I remember that. So Hi, Boston, cigar, mule so cigar mule strikes again. Cigar mule strikes again. Anybody smoking yeah, green? Shirt because made. we'll have a full three ring circus in here. You guys got the flaco. I got the clown cero. Yeah. Where's you got the devil's the advocate, greenie. bro? Devil's advocate. Anybody? I got a greenie in my box. You see, Katie? You see what some of these guys are smoking? Hold it up. John, hold it up. You'll be a clearest. Oh, no my one. gosh. <laughs> advocate. That band looks awesome. Yeah. Band looks, right. Congratulations. You know, Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Band real, came real, out awesome. Real quick, Boston Jimmy, why I got you on, sir. I'm sending out one to uh, a couple to Evil, Evil Empire and 505 Cigar Review to, uh, you know, give a little review for us. And I'd be honored if I could send you one and and you can let us know what you think. Absolutely. John, if you send me one, I'll let you know what I think. Uh, <laughs> I said it to who, Bart? <laughs> so, Jimmy, this, this cigar is coming out this Thursday. All right. I got to find them in out, the wild. That's me. It's this coming out time. this Thursday. It's a uh, New Jersey exclusive. It'll be in three shops. Uh, we hit... Northern New Jersey at some uh, uh, Stick Cigar Lounge. Oh, you got them at Sticks. Good deal, man. Danny's South place. Jersey at Summers Point. And the, the main event drop will be at Main Street in mm-hmm. Central New Jersey at 5 o'clock. But they are they're dropping at 1 o'clock and they're phone orders only. There's no, no website, so you got to call either one of the shops and, and they'll be able to get them out to you. And they'll be sold out how fast? Uh, hopefully by one. Depends on how many machines get broken. <laughs> hopefully get by, by one oh seven they'll be gone. <laughs> John, what's 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 the price point that you got? Um, the shop I I really don't know like what the shops are, are selling them for yet. So, I, Nick, do you know? I can't even, I can't believe I didn't ask that before. I don't know what the I don't know what the tax is. Uh, yeah, what it comes out to. I, w- I would say uh, somewhere between uh, twelve and fourteen dollars uh, a cigar. Yeah, it's worth. Let's just say. Right let's just say it's it's worth it. Go That's ahead and spend spot. It. Yeah. It's, this is a really limited. The, the, draw, the draw, the draw on a cigar reminds me of a padrone. That's how smooth the draw is. Yeah, the, uh, the draw is phenomenal. The flavor profile, it, it, it's just a banging stick. And it's very, like Joe just said, it's a very limited run. So. How many, how many are in production? Can I ask? Six. Six. <laughs> it's a li- so, limited so, run. Very limited run. So I've run. seen three on here. So there's three left in the wild. There's, so there's I, three exactly. left. Exactly. Yeah, you'll find them. Well, there, wait, Danny has four. So there's two left. You got to call all the stores. I got a, I got a couple. Left, so. I got a few. <laughs> yeah. just, this release know, part, this release part is going to be pretty boring. There's none left. Mm-hmm. We'll find them. We'll find listen, them in the wild. Listen, you will find them. We're going to put up we'll, what I'll do is probably tomorrow. I will put up a post on Instagram on our page, not on the story that has the number and the information for all three shops. So you can give a call. I don't know if anybody's taking pre-orders. That's kind of up to the shops, I would assume, at this point. Um, I don't know what the deal is. I know Main Street's dropping them at one. I don't know what Somers Point and Sticks' deal is going to be. But um, I'm assuming they'll probably start selling them when they open up. I could be wrong. 
but you know, you'll be able to get your hands on them. There's three places you can get your hands on them from. So I can't see you not being able to get some. And and if you can't get through the phone lines, um, the Devil's Enclave and a couple of the cigar clouds, we're going to be at Main Street. So you can just DM us through Instagram and we'll, and we'll let you know what's left or what's going on. Send the pigeon. Yeah. We'll send the carrier send the pigeon. pigeon. Do that. Smoke signals. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of right now. So I, I get Joe to Main Street failed. Yeah, I'm still here, boys. <laughs> <laughs> we tried, Joe. We tried. Yo, hey, Joe, 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 no, effort. Prom. Nobody wants to take it a prom, Joe. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe if you would start sending feet pics like I told you to earlier. <laughs> <laughs> we were the only ones that started a GoFundMe that went negative. Yep. <laughs> 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 uh, no, wrong, wrong person. Well, guys, we're we're super excited for all of you, and I mean, what a what a monumental moment, you know? Like, evil empire clowns. Devils have devils. Devils, devils enclave. Devils enclave. Evil empire is getting. I'm sorry, I'm terrible at this. Um, hey guys, listen, you're the cigar fire. That's all about us. Congratulations to all of you. Yes. Thank you. Hey, guys, I have, I have a question. What's up, Peter? How you doing? Thanks for having me on this Discord. I'm just a fan of the clowns. Uh, I was at the last herf you guys had on Zoom. Um, when the Devil's Enclave has their stick, will they do the same release of Jersey stores and things like that? We're going <coughs> to... We're in the process of getting our tobacco license so we could give them to other stores and stuff like that but it would probably uh be just jersey right now to those three stores oh you'll be releasing yours same three stores uh as of right now that's what it looks like yes but it, it could change we'll post it and stuff like that and you know it's gonna be it's gonna be um it won't be a collaboration stick but it'll be a stick made for us by the clowns the clowns are gonna are gonna make the stick for us cool great so. Good for me. I'm in Jersey. Good for me. So there you go. So you ain't got far to travel, Pete. Yeah. <laughs> so Pete, are you coming down to Main Street Thursday? Yeah, I'll be there. Right. <clears throat> they they will have some put aside for the event, Pete. So if you don't get through on the phone lines, Main Street will have some put aside for the event. Great. It's great. Pete, you'll get them. Don't worry about it. Thanks. Thanks, Ray. <clears throat> If not, Ray's got That's about a tough one guarantee. Thank you. Appreciate that. F London guarantee. Wow. <laughs> Teflon underscore Don. That's why it's there. Underscore <laughs> separates. <laughs> all one word. I thought it's not it was what I put London. on your t-shirt though. <laughs> I put on Tef and I space London. I like there that. I like that. <laughs> I thought I was all. I thought I was, I was banned from having tough. Oh yeah, you were. Fucked. You were. You were negated right away. Were, Sorry. Definitely. God definitely damn. Banned. Well, like this. <laughs> <laughs> See the respect I got? I got no respect. No respect. <clears throat> so Sorry, I, Ray. The best normally don't. Yeah. Is, is Thanks, this Joe. The first, is this the first collaboration of many? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. It's our first yeah. collaboration stick, yeah. So when, when yeah, listen, the next one, I gotta put it on my calendar. I try to buy. I'm not taking applications. I didn't have the password. We're taking applications, Katie. There you go. I'm gonna send you a message. Mm. No, I'm just. I'm super excited and. I've got this release on my calendar for Devil's Advocate. Correct. Well, we're looking forward to seeing you guys at the Liga one year anniversary party. Oh, uh, yeah, we're going to, we'll be there. We'll be there for sure. We'll be there. Big things for that party. That one's going to be, uh, that one's going to be a little wild, I think. Yeah, absolutely. Katie, why are you writing things in the calendar? May 21st. You've read that to your calendar, too. 
May twenty first. What's that day? That is the that is a that is a Saturday. That is the next major clowns release. Clowns release. My oh, God. First thing that pops up for my suge- my suggestions is cigar clowns when I start typing in. Nice. <laughs> That's where we I, want I, to I think, be. I think Ray for your next shirt. You should put, make a shirt with a bunch of munchkins and put mm-hmm. Nick in the mayor of munchkin land hat, you know, right in the middle in the outfit with a couple <laughs> of munchkins around him. All right, Nick. No, we, uh, we we have we have a we have a special special logo for Nick for a band if we ever do a cigar band dedicated to Nick. It's be a pretty oh, small band. Very special. Joe, All right, Joe, I'll walk away. I'll walk away. <laughs> it's going to well, be a small fun, band. Fun, fa- fun fact, I had the picture hanging in my store for about three years. And Nicky didn't <laughs> notice it, but I showed it to him. That's definitely an anniversary. Classic. <laughs> 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 I'll give you another fun fact about that picture. I went to Atlantic City with him. Oh, and, uh, <laughs> and I had this big printout of Nick's face on it. And it said, have you seen my pal Nick? And all the pit bosses, I was telling him, hey, my, my pal Nick, you know, walking around with him. And if you see Nicky and he gets lost, tell him not to worry. I'm, I'm over here at the blackjack table. I had all the pit bosses <laughs> in with me going, Hey, Nick, Joe's over here. Joe's over here. <laughs> um, we, we won a fucking boatload of money on roulette that night, man. Holy shit. Was that, Nick, was that uh, nipple stacks that night? Nipple stacks, bro. Nipple stacks. Dude, that was, we hit a number, we hit a number with hundreds of dollars. <laughs> Holy shit, man. Good night. Well, wait yeah, a it was a good night. Up to yours, listen, 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 we that's a losing cleared. night if you go by Nick. Listen, we, we cleared off that, that, that table at least three times, if not more. At the least three times, yes. Yeah. The whole rack of chips. We, we made money that night. That they fun. still send the free rooms from that night. Mm-hmm. Is that 33? 33. 33. 33. Ooh. 33. We'll put money on top of money. He wanted to be the last one. I wanted to be the last one. We were stacking them. So let's say, let's say, Joe, you know, we were playing for about three, four rounds. You wouldn't join me. I said, just follow me. Finally, yeah, I'm it's true. Yeah. Uh, hey, buddy. The kid come on me, no money. Now he's betting against us. Hey Joe, while we're on while we're on a live or on on our live on our YouTube, should we uh should we should we throw any any teases out for, for our next run or not? Yes. Oh, there you go. Joe answer. Go for it. Yeah, you, you got an I, I figured you know this is the, you know I figured it's something that you uh you like to fucking do. So I throw I throw the forum out to you. I thought I put you on the spotlight. I, I I always like talking about our next stick. I was, I was yeah. like, it's actually one that Boston Jimmy smoked. One that Joe yeah. smoked. Yeah. yeah. Who else Who else on this call smoked it? Oh. Uh, Mark. Pat, 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 Mark, Joe. Joe, you didn't smoke it yet? I can't. Oh, you still what? can't. Really? Today is the very first day I've been able, I'm going to uh, break <laughs> doctor's, doctor's orders and smoke a cigar. I haven't smoked a cigar in two and a half weeks. Wow. 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 Ooh, oh. out right there. Sounds painful. It's not been fun. I, I mean, you know, yeah, it's 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 part of the uh it's one of the taste tester Tuesday sticks that we put to the forefront and I can show you if I pull it up, I could show you the band. I think you should, I know you should show us that it. band, brother. Oh, excuse me. Oof. Hey Jimmy, what do you think? Jeez, oh fuck. yeah. Ah. You think uh let's hey, do that. Hold on. That band is dead sexy. How you doing? Man, I gotta, I gotta put you on spot. Ray, you'll have Ooh. to say something. I can't do it see again. It. Say something. Say something. Oh, oh shit. look at that! Oh lord, that's amazing. Dude, <laughs> I love it. Bikini, right? it's it's a bikini, right? Bikini. We gotta get Katie a bikini. <laughs> that's ridiculous. <laughs> 
That's super cool. Are we releasing oh. the name yet? I was about to say, no name yet. What is she called? Name. We what tell you she, everything. What is she know. called? I'm guessing it's a she. Ooh. It is. Or is That's it a they? Could be a no. they. Uh, no, no. The proper pronoun is she. She. <laughs> 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 let's you know what let's see if jimmy can guess jimmy yeah hold on let's see if you can guess do you happen to know what hold on why are you not zooming in why are you being a pain in the ass there we go let me write this up there we go jimmy do you happen to know what font that is uh, no, my wife would know what that is. What is it's comic something or other? Comic no, Sans. that is that is the font from the Warriors. That is the Warriors font. Yeah, my wife the would have known that. She's the artist. I ain't the artist. <laughs> Warriors. The All right. well, Jimmy, you got the palette. You're not the artist, but you got the palette. She's got, mm. she's got more talent than her fingernail than I have. <laughs> Frankie, Frankie, I just want to let you know, all the way to the nub, it was fucking perfect. Oh, my gosh. Just throw that out there, Frankie. Just go out to Jersey and go hang out with them and get some. I think you should. <laughs> I have to leave now. You wouldn't have to leave now. It's Wait, Let's see, can you pick, I got two can you pick Joey up on the way? Yeah, <laughs> why not? Joey, we're not go that far Joe. away. Go for Joe. We're, we're not. We're not. We're not far away. Not far away at all. Wait, where's wait, where's Joey again? Joe's got to come to us, and then we'll go out, and then you That's guys true. can go out. Yeah, I'm. A, I'm about be... a half hour south of Green Bay. Appleton. Oh, that's right, Appleton. Bean snappers, baby. I'll come up to you. <laughs> I'm coming up to you. Up. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> This man I just think... pulled out one of like the weirdest strip clubs in the entire state. <laughs> and that is amazing. I, went, oh, I, used God. To, I used to have a lot of jobs up there. And like my first my first job, we used to go up there like four weeks out of the summer to do to do some work. And we, we'd always end up there for some reason. I was so for hammered. Some reason. I was so hammered the first time. <laughs> I didn't realize that's what she said. I didn't realize they slid down from the poles to get on the stage, right? I was like, where yeah. are these girls coming from? I just thought they magically fucking appeared on the stage. I had no <laughs> well, they do. <laughs> they certainly do. It's crazy. <laughs> oh, God. So, we'll, have so to, we'll have a talk after this. We'll, we'll definitely talk. Because uh, <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> I can't believe you just said that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. See, now you know I've been there. <laughs> That's a mm. fact. <laughs> Funny story, last time we were at a strip club, it was in uh, Cape Canaveral, Florida, which is about an hour east of Orlando. Mm -hmm. Where they where they That's where I'm at. I'm in Orlando. Practice. Really? Oh, you're yeah. at Orlando? Yeah, I know it well. Okay. So Brian and I, they wouldn't rent us a car. So we got an Uber to our house. My parents have a, a we live in a trailer park out there. And so, you know, we're right down A1A. A1A. Um, what's the saying on the sign? The girls are the hottest girls. Hottest girls in Florida. The hottest, hottest girls girl. in Florida. It's because they don't have air conditioning in the strip club. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and they... Uh, Great marketing. Great marketing. Right? <laughs> they let me jump on the, strip, the stripper pole... And somebody threw money at me, and I got so offended, I threw it back at him, <laughs> and <laughs> and I was I was banned from the strip club. So <laughs> Brian's only allowed to go to the strip clubs in Appleton now. Fair enough, man. Come so on if, up. They threw, if they threw if they threw cigars at you, would you throw them back? No, 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 no. Different story. <laughs> <laughs> It was just for fun. There were like six people in there. I mean. You see this ash? Oh, oh, nice. Got that I, like how, I like how DJ disappears and then just shows up with an immaculate ash. I see a uh, You know it. That's how I roll. I see a run. 
DJ, you drinking? <laughs> That's a silly question. <laughs> <laughs> Does the Pope shit in his hat? Yep. <laughs> what do you guys you think of that Flacco? Is that the first time you're smoking it? Oh, this is the second time. Second, and it's delicious. Yeah, I love this thing. Yeah, that Flacco is amazing. I got Ugats. That and the greenie. Devil's on green. stickers. Unbelievable. That was yeah, advocate, baby. This is fire. I don't know. I think I think the first, the clown Cero, was my favorite. Oh, Saran just just joined. Everybody, be quiet. Shh. <laughs> clown Cero. Yeah, oh. don't don't let him don't let him know you're talking about the clown Cero. <laughs> Saran, watch out! There's a plane behind you coming. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! Wait, put the Nutella away. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, ah! Oh. That's not thirty seconds. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Hi, everybody. What? We can't hear you. It is. We can't hear you. We can't hear you. I had. We can't hear you. We can't hear you over that plane behind you. Ray, Ray, did you mute him again? Uh -huh. No. You're, you're making the guy nervous. I heard you. Saran, you're oh, fine. Left. I'm just fucking with you. He left. Where's that guy, uh, Big Dog, at? Oh, what do you want me to... <laughs> so, uh, uh, <laughs> his best friend. That's his uh -uh. best friend. I just want to take a break from my tanning sessions and uh, hop in. And <laughs> I can see you still got that, that shine. Good for you. Good for you, Saran. Good for you. That's it. Ay, ay, ay. Proud of you. We don't need you getting burnt now. All I know is this not going to tell it went up. I'm just trying to. I'm, I'm just trying to meet the expectations of upstate New York, uh, specifically Dutchess County. So. <laughs> Did the difference between New York City and upstate New York? Big difference. I, 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 I so found out last week. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you're coming in Thursday. Nah, man, I'm, I'm, I'm stuck down here. Crazy work. So, I mean, I mean, speaking of tans, uh, Joe's been down there three days and he's already talking to you. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Nutella really works. How'd you up? It does. It does. Hey, the scoop of Nutella, I sit in the sun. I'm like, this is what Saran does all day. I feel it. I feel it. Fucking Nutella. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't use uh, fucking sunblock. He uses Nutella to fucking get talk. Saran, <laughs> yeah. uh, so, we got to but... find the Herf Nerd as a, 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 a Nutella flavored cigar. To, uh, I got my fucking Herb Nerd pounds. shirt today. Let's go. I'm ready to rock. Oh, I, I didn't get mine yet. Well, I got mine today. Day. I'm very excited. I'm check tracking. I'm check the tracking. There, there is a Nutella esque cigar, uh, and, but you guys already put it out. So, yeah. But the, the, there's, there's the, something. Why, 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 why do you think I love the Flaco so much? Mm. You, ever, you ever thought that? You ever thought about that? Hmm. Thinking about it now, maybe go smoke one after this Devil's Enclave stick I'm smoking. Devil's Advocate, unbelievable. You should, if you guys get a chance, I'd, I'd buy 20 of them if you can. This is going to age Can't really wait. well. Can't wait to try them. Man, hard week on the bank for cigars. Oh, my God. Hard two days. Jesus. <laughs> right? <Christ. Yeah. laughs> Save your money. Um, it's going to uh, be an expensive summer. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm glad I have like people watching my back, like Mark over there and Seth, man. Because last couple of days have been been crazy. You smoking a greenie? What are you smoking there? No, I'm not smoking. I'm just organizing. Oh, uh, so okay. I wanted to say hi. No, this I I, I got a box of Villa Castagli and um, mm. haven't had these. Have other have have I've had daughters of the wind, but not uh, Villa Castagli, but. I raped, I raped Sir Louis over the coals for this one. <laughs> it's good value. Good value. Where, is, is, is Murph on? Mm -mm. No Murphs. No Murphs. Doesn't matter. We're not good enough for you. Ooh. <laughs> no, no. Uh, uh, Where's the other clown? 
out of the corner of his eye on one of my pictures that and hidden in the corner, he noticed that I, I, I got something in and uh, I, I need to send him a couple. Uh, oh. I've, I've been looking well, for... Speaking uh, of which, I guess Murphy is your favorite it? clown then, I guess, right? Yeah, you, then we know who his favorite is. clown is now. <laughs> well, I heard. Yeah. Oh, I'm in... I'm, 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 a couple things from work still. I'm not done for today, but I wanted to join the her for a little bit. Looking forward to Thursday, and uh, we'll see you guys soon. Enjoy the rest of the night, guys. You'll we'll see you later, boys. Thank you, boys. Man, Dave, and have a good All one. Right, later. Uh, uh, I'm an equal opportunity groupie. Well, we know you know you know Nick is your least favorite. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he just got off. You can't talk about him now. Let's talk about who's got who's gotten the most sticks from me. I got a bunch of sticks from me. Not many. What was that? You, what do you got there? I think it was a phrase in his hand, and he had a slider in it. I've gotten sticks from you. I got the most sticks. I got sticks from Saran. I got stick with Weird, you Saran. Saran. Weird, Saran. I haven't gotten anything, and I'm trying to send you a Lancero shirt. Ah, that's interesting. Hmm. <laughs> wow. A lot of thickens. I'm very glad that Brian and Katie are on here because uh, I've been on a mission for Joe, and I've struck out miserably. But yet you guys have – had a lot more success than I have in, in finding the stick. But oh um, no, we we already talked wait, which which Joe? Evil Empire Joe? Yeah, no, yeah, that's, evil, that's ev squared away. Yeah, thank we you, don't, by the yeah. way, guys. It'll be out in the mail tomorrow, brother. I've I've been uh, I've been crazy you. busy, but it's coming. It's coming. Don't worry. Okay. Much appreciated. Okay. Much so appreciated. as Joe, as much as I'm a disappointment, I'm also a facilitator. Hey. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's you're... that's all that matters. <laughs> you know, it's Sar <laughs> Saran did. He did facilitate that. Saran. Uh, you gotta give him. You gotta give him I a little found credit. More. Found more. Jesus uh, Christ! The ones that were sending. Yeah, she just finds like Rons and everything else under the sun that you can't find anywhere else. Mm. Call me, guys. Just call me. Call me the cigar mule. <laughs> we, we, we have to get a shirt made. We have to get a shirt made. <laughs> Right, you, gotta get mule. Mule. you have to. Hashtag scar mule. That's hilarious. I'm going to add it to my hashtags. You're going to start your own Instagram page. What so wait, so hold on. So when are we when are we expecting the uh, Cigar Misfits stick to drop? Uh, we just we just finalized the band, so uh, hopefully very soon. We had a... Uh, there, there was a production issue with the bands, and so then we, we finally got them. So. That we want to support. Wait, what's going on? So we're part of Cigar Misfits, the regional group. The okay. Misfits, Midwest, Midwest Misfits. Misfits. Um, Cigar Misfits. Cigar Misfits. Not those two. Us too. We're all I same. like Midwest Misfits better. That that sounds way better for me. That's that's it. That's it. So uh, we got we had issue with the Scar band, um, but we finally got it. We already picked our we already picked the Scar. We got that. Uh, so we just got to get them the bands. They should be done printing. You tell me. I don't know. I don't know. But, Hopefully soon, man. Yeah. So we're kind of oh. we're kind of bummed it's taken so long, but have have, have you named the cigar? Yeah, we have. Mm. Would you care to give us an Easter egg? It is a. <laughs> It is, no also, it is also the name of a song. No, no, no. The name of the cigar is going to be. It's, it's so it's it's between two. I think that's where it got hit the issue. Um, it's either the uncaged Don or the uncaged Boss. Or uncaged. So. Uncaged as a misfit. I see it. Right. There's there's a storyline. We're building a storyline for it too. That's good. good. That's good. good. You, you see, Ray, you're mentoring well. <laughs> but it, so, it also, I, it also. I, I'm just here to people. show off my prized possession. The OG oh, of OG. Oh, oh, wow. OG of OG. Wow. Ooh, that is a fucking. You can't find that anywhere. I got one. <laughs> I got one. John, John, question: What time is Melody coming on? 
Oh, nah, shit. bro. Oh, nah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good suck the end of it. Oh, no, no, bro, no. She, she, she's she's, she's going to be on the AV Prodigy live after we get off. Uh, I she, she came. Uh, I was on a live with somebody, and she she hopped in, and uh, I, I asked her if it was cold where she was. Oh boy! Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> well, everybody has a place. Everybody has a role. Jimmy, I didn't even see you down there. What's up, Boston Jimmy? What's up, man? What's up, man? <laughs> All right. It's always I good when you get I'm going to go uh, cook dinner for the wife. Just wanted to say hi to all my brethren. Thank yeah, you for man. jumping on, yeah. sir. Enjoy it. Uh, good on. luck on uh, good luck on Thursday. I'm I'm sure it's going to be a smashing hit, and wish I was there with you guys. But I can't wait to I can't wait to try this cigar. Thank Absolutely. you, brother. We appreciate it. You know, let me know what I whatever I can do for you guys. Thanks, Rob. I appreciate it, man. Thanks, Rob. Love you guys. Hey, Rob. Love you guys. Peace, Love you guys. Uh, yeah, Mark, Rob. I'm going to go work on this spreadsheet and figure out our strategy, all right? Yeah. Let you know. All right. <laughs> we'll figure it out. <clears throat> wow, spreadsheet smart. You're getting, you're getting into it, huh? The, the subterraneos. <laughs> Between who got them, who didn't get them. Um, the... the Text messages and and the DMs were going left and right for the past fourteen hours. This it's hmm. insane. He he turns around and he drops six of them in sixteen yeah. hours. Like yeah. he said, there was a mistake. It shouldn't have happened that way. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. I, mean, I, I doubt that. Right. He would. So, he should. He shouldn't have sent them to all the shops. Then. <laughs> Mark, you got to. You got. You know. You got to hand me one in front of Cope on Thursday, right? In front of who? I said you got to yeah. hand me one in front of Cope on Thursday, right? Which which one? The subsonic. What what one do you want? All right. There's there's what six is bringing your balls about? Uh, yeah. He's like, I didn't get any. <laughs> All right. So are any of them harder to get than others? Supposedly. I mean I... in in the shops that posted them in the past two days, they are all sold out and supposedly other shops or they're going to be getting another round of them soon and they don't know when <clears throat> but <clears throat> I know uh, I overheard uh, some guy said he's like he sent he sent Brian a, a message or, or an email or something I got all 12 but you're supposed to send a picture or something I believe right you, have to, you have to have all 12 yeah. in your box yep I believe I believe I've secured all twelve also, and then the Mark the one that we were talking about you and I yeah I believe I got two, and they're overnighting them to me. <laughs> so they're like they're like hey we found two I was like how much to overnight those fuckers? <laughs> <laughs> well, you gotta try you get you know lay lay it all out see what you got if I if I got I I try I did try and get some extras so. There's the, between a few of us, there's definitely some extras uh, here and there that'll just to complete the box at that very least. So. Yeah, I got I got extras of everything except for except for those two, right? Well, so I guess I got one extra, but I think I, should I smoked I smoked the uh, the Lancero one yesterday. Oh, the the Golden Eye or the I yeah it was uh, right here. This one. Yeah. Yeah. We've only had one of the the far the one the green one that came in the farm roll. Yes, one of the subterraneos. Yeah, I, I got I got that in the farm world and I only Can't got one of them. Good though. So That's I ain't, I'm not smoking that until like I'll make that like the last one. The farm world one? Yeah. It was it was really good. Pat over here knows I, I smoked the blue one, the first one that came out in like January. <laughs> he, he mistakenly gave it to me. And before I knew what that whole thing was, I smoked it. And that was, was fucking phenomenal. I think Love that's the one. hardest one to get. <sighs> yep. So I got the band laying in that section. 
at least. <laughs> so it's a shame Nick jumped off because I wanted to show you our, our next no, band, not. but he's he, he's it. already got you can't see it. You can't see it that good, right? Fuck, how can no. I show it? Yeah, turn the light. I turn the light five. down on your phone. Turn the light down? Yeah, something's too bright there. See if that works. So there's, there's our- <laughs> there you go. I will pay to put that on a fucking cigar, man. <laughs> That's our next band. That is great. Oh. <laughs> wow. Nikki Memes. You gotta send me that picture, bro. <laughs> I'll send it to you. I Just the- um I gotta put, I'll uh, I got I'll uh I don't know, DM me, I guess, on uh, Instagram okay. or uh, Facebook, whatever you want, or uh, Discord. I'll, I'll, I'll send it to you through Instagram. All right. That's great. I might put that in my office, too, that picture. All right, friends, I got to start getting ready for the show. I'll see you all later. All right, all right, Joe. All right thanks, Joe. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see you all later, man. You got it, man. Who was saying that this didn't burn their fingers when they got it down to the nub? John. John, because I think I'm at the point maybe I'm past the nub. I'm holding on, <laughs> to, it, right? I'm holding on yeah. to a cherry right now. I don't think anybody could beat Pat. I think it was the last uh, taste test. But he couldn't even find the, the end cap. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm trying to look for it. I can't find it. <laughs> so good. That's about, I just said it to you, Jeff. Nice. I just got it, brother. That's great. Oh my God. Come on. <laughs> my man. Oh, my God. Oh, That's fire. <laughs> that is great. That's when, when the phone rings. That's going to be the new picture when Nikki calls. <laughs> I have the other photo as uh, Nikki. I'm going to save that for my camera roll. That is fucking hysterical. That's <laughs> What's everybody doing this Tuesday night? Anything good? Watching baseball. Watching the nice. Sox. Watching the best team in New York. Mets. <laughs> they won. That's uh, and and, and, they're winning three nothing right now. Winning three nothing now. Second game. What's up, Nick? I thought it was three. What's going on, fellas? Oh, three nothing. Sorry, I'm late to the game. Better late than never. Hey, at least you got a game in, man, up there. Isn't you guys getting, like, some badass storm tomorrow? No, nah, it was one last night. Oh, it was last night? Yeah. Mm-hmm. My house in Pennsylvania got about five, six inches. Wow. Okay. Of snow. <laughs> yeah, but it's going to be, like, 65, 70 degrees, right? Here? Here's, like... On the 50 right now. Yeah, but I mean, later in the week. It's supposed to get. Oh, warm, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's going to be about to warm up nice. Yeah. You know, I, I spent the whole week in D.C. last week, and I'll tell you, I couldn't have asked for a better week because the weather was spectacular, blue skies, and we only had rain one day, and it was like, you know, it was like 55, 60 at night, 75, 70, 75 during the day. All the flowers were blooming. The, the, the cherry blossoms came and went and came again. It was a weird weird season for it. But all the aroma in the air just reminded me of Long Island growing up. It was like, God, I love spring. I miss spring. Florida, we don't have this. You know, <laughs> you sit outside, you smoke a cigar, you just breathe that air in. And it's like, God, this is so nice. Yeah, spring is the best time of year. Absolutely. I know the cigar. I don't know what I want to smoke. Meaning, meaning, miny mo. <laughs> you know how it goes. Get lined up now, Mark. That's why the seventh Sam surrogates. 
Flacco. Another Flacco. 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 I just had the clown Sarah. This is the best that cap you can get. You got the old greenie. Hey, that's the greenie that won me my Yeti. I love it. There you go. <laughs> yeah, it is. Congratulations on that. So when yeah, I get so back from Florida, I'm just I'm gonna uh, link up with you. Nick. Yeah, no problem. Oh yeah. Think you coming to hang out Thursday? Yes, I will. I'll be there. My oh, man. Hey guys, I'm gonna jump off. Thanks for letting me on. It was nice. Being here. Hey, thank you, brother. We'll see you on Thursday. See you on Thursday, guys. Okay, right, Thursday. Thursday. Have a nice thank, night, man. Thanks again, guys. Peace, brother. <clears throat> Pat, what are you smoking? Uh, bone crusher. Had to go oh, out yeah. I had the Sky Ramooch before. Sky <laughs> Ramooch. <laughs> Smoke the mistress. Yeah. Wow, you guys are talking a lot tonight, huh? Yeah. Who did the uh, Who did the blending for the uh, the Devil's Advocate? Can you tell or no? Good. Fortunately, unfortunately, we don't like to release that information. That's fine. <clears throat> Just curious. <laughs> Mystery is the biggest part of this thing. It, it makes uh, it more fun. It really does because you don't um, you get to taste the stick when when you smoke a stick and you know who made it. You, you kind of uh, you judge it. You kind of get one side. Yeah, you judge it right off the bat. So, for the few of you that just got to enjoy the advocate, what uh, where would you put it as a rating? I mean, I know obviously you picked it already, and and this and that, but so so I'm gonna go on record and say it's a it's a medium stick. It's, it's not one of our full bangers, but if you're smoking that in the morning, it's a solid 90, 90, 92. Solid. Great stick to start your day. I was going to put it at 100 because it's our stick, but okay, I'll take the 90. <laughs> <laughs> I can see it being a... You can't rate it at 100. That means that there's not going to be a listic better than that. There is no 100 there, Johnny boy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, we have it's all, good. Uh, it's all good. I'll take the top 90s. I'll take that. I'll take 92. Right. It's a great stick, man. It really is. Yeah, it has like uh, this transition goes from it goes from sweet, really sweet, to like a um, a berry. The sweetness is like almost a maple syrupy or. Um, to like a blueberry and it just like snaps i love uh, uh it gets me all the time in the first third that's probably my favorite part of that cigar and then as you're smoking it it just gets better and better but uh that yeah, one tra slot transition i really love transition is nice it's a really good stick what's and the, the age on that it's amazing too what was the age on that so that that's that stick's probably almost a year old um, let me see. Three months. Yeah, it's coming up on a year. I'd say coming up on a year. It's right. Yeah, the first it's time we smoked as it that, ages. Right, right. Yeah. To say that. right. It's probably gonna get right, better. The first time ages. we smoked that was like in September. Uh, was like September, I think. Yeah, I would say about September. September, late August. 
first time we smoked it, and you know, yeah. and it wasn't a fresh, fresh cigar. No, we found that in the taste tester after after Jack in the Box and maybe. Yeah, so that, yeah, so that's right around September, right? Mm -hmm. August, September, right around then. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy how long the process takes of getting everything right. done, everything out the door. Yeah. The, the, the worst part is waiting on it on the sticks from Nicaragua. Right, right, John, right, Frankie. Yes, but it was definitely sucks. well, definitely well worth the wait, though. It was a. Yeah. Uh, it was definitely well worth the wait for it. And, you know, it was, we were going to originally come out with it in March, but they had the three ring circus going on and stuff like that and everything. And, you know, it was just killing us not to tell our guys, like, you know, me and Frankie, <laughs> we'd be on the herd for our guys. And it's like, we couldn't say nothing. We were, we were under a lock and key, nothing could come out. And it, it was just killing us. We were just dying to tell them. And that night that we told them, when Ray came on and everything and it was just like the room went quiet and, and I, you know, they got all excited for it and stuff like that. And like I said, they couldn't have been more honored to, uh, to do it with a great bunch of guys. I appreciate that. You can hear a pin drop that night. And that, and that <laughs> yeah, <hurt>. Right. <laughs> we, yep. we called for an emergency herf. They were like, okay, go ahead. Tell your guys. So I called for an emergency herf. And they were like, oh, my God, what's going on? What happened? Did somebody die? Are we, we folding up? What are we doing? And we, we sort of, like, teased them a little bit. And then Ray came on, and we, dro and we dropped it. Like, Ray sort of, like, dropped it. We dropped it. And it was just, like, silence. Like, they, they couldn't believe what they were hearing. And it, it was just great. Aldi actually grew a little bit of hair on top of his head so, at that moment. <laughs> Sorry, God. Other than a couple of months. <laughs> well, the icing was that band. It is fucking amazing. Yeah, that band that, that Frankie and Frank. Ray did is. Nah, uh, that was both you guys. That band is sick. It it printed really nice too, man. The colors really really pop on this thing. I don't know if you can see it. All the detailing and stuff that's in it, it it came out fabulous. Yeah. So it we don't we don't help with the spelling, so that's why we know Ray's in there. Mm. <laughs> don't worry, I got, I, got your, I got your face on another photo. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, then, and then when they dropped the name, when Ray and Frankie dropped the name, it was like, holy shit. Like, yeah, it, it, it definitely fit and everything. Twenty twenty two is a good year to, to be in the cigar industry, man. To, to smoke, be a consumer. It's oh, a good year. Yeah. A lot of a lot of good cigars, man. I it's hard to keep up too, Jimmy. How how are you keeping up? You, you uh, must be smoking I, crazy. I, I am not keeping up. I, mm. I'm just Woo. doing my best and I'm losing I'm losing track of things. I've got like I I had like a shelf in my humidor for review stuff and then I put stuff into other cabinets and and I'm just like God I'm looking around I'm like going and then the worst part is as good as many are there are some that I just are like you shouldn't I be know. in this car business. I I know like <laughs> I'm sorry I can't I can't read and I, I power through it so I, sometimes I get down to like midway and I say I can't smoke the rest of this it's, it's garbage you know I'm not going to write about it I'm not going to talk about it I'm not going to say anything about it just leave it alone you know you got friends and family and whatever that love your cigar <laughs> great they, everybody loves your baby but your baby's ugly <laughs> <laughs> Jim, you know, that, that, that's a great point you bring up because there are a lot of a lot of companies bringing a cigar to market just to bring a cigar to market yeah, and they have, and, and they've got, you know, everybody who starts a cigar brand will have friends and family that will, will buy their cigar. They will have a local shop or two that will bring their line in as a favor. Mm -hmm. And then 
if else, <laughs> you know, or they just keep supporting the guy and he's not going to do well. He really, you know, some people just don't go into business. Just don't. All right. You, you, you obviously smoked that cigar and somehow you liked it, which tells me you really don't know cigars. <laughs> Yeah, it's unfortunately that is true. But there are a lot of splendid cigars out there. Um, you know, it's but Wait. you know the majority of them. You know, the majority of cigars are, are good cigars. You know, they're they're in the belt curve. They're right in the middle. They're you know, it's not something I'm going to toss away. I might smoke it again. You know, it might be an interesting. But the but the profiles aren't totally wowing me right that takes a lot to say oh lord this thing's like a 95 and 96 on my scale that 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 now, now you're getting to a cigar that says yeah that is one you want to get your hands on and don't smoke them all put them away <laughs> <clears throat> don't do it how is your stick doing there jimmy what's that the stick that you made for in tribute to your brother how's that uh <clears throat> Um, I haven't smoked another one yet. Um, it, it needed mm -hmm. rest, as does the Boston Jimmy's. So I I have them in my, my humidor. I'll be bringing those out to California in, um, in, in June for the wedding, my niece. So we'll, uh, we'll be smoking them out there. Hopefully I have some left over. Not everybody's going to smoke cigars, but I'm bringing out like 100 of them. But, you know, we'll see who smokes them. But they were good, but they weren't where I wanted them. They were kind of fresh out of the factory. I don't think they were right. in the aging room two months. They kind of rushed them to get them here. And I said, they didn't need them until May. You could have waited a whole nother month. But getting things out of Honduras and Nicaragua, like you said, they didn't want to take any risks. So they had a timely right thing. Here. Yeah, that's, so, that's the truth right now. People yeah. don't realize that, Jimmy. Nope. It, it, and I said, no problem. I just went away. Still mm -hmm. age. Yep, you'll age them, and you'll age them right, you know. I don't know, you, what, you put them in 67 or 69? Or, 67. Well, what? They're 67, 68 degrees. So mm -hmm. they're just sitting there resting, and we'll see how they how they turn out. You know, most people that'll be smoking them don't know cigars, so they, they won't know the difference, but right. I know. <laughs> that, was a killer, that was a killer band. That was a great band. Isn't that a that cool was, band? That was so cool. That is yeah. cool. Hopefully, I have some left over. I get to some of the Pittsburgh Steeler fans. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't see that band. You see that band, John? No. My brother's cigar? No, I didn't see that, sir. Oh, hold on a second. Let me get one. I'll show it to you. So my sort of background of my brother who passed away, he was a big construction manager in New York. So he built a number of buildings that they're not the total large skyline, but they're the medium skyline buildings. So there are things that when I go down in the you know, down in like the 21st Street area and stuff, he did a lot of the buildings down there. And um, so he was a construction manager. He was a carpenter when he was younger. Um, he was a Boy Scout and a big Pittsburgh Steelers fan. So my wife designed a band. So the band. All right. So. Look at that. That's awesome. See. Oh, that's sick. And then, that's and then awesome. You turn it this way. You got the Boy Scout emblem. All right. And you turn it the other way. You got the Steelers emblem. Now these aren't for sale. So if we make them again, or we're thinking about if they turn out really good, like I want them to, I want to sell. I want to get them distributed through my manufacturer, and um, we're going to change the band a little so we don't infringe on this shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> raise money to donate to. Um, we're going to. I'm going to donate all my proceeds to uh, Sloan Kettering, who took care of my brother up in New York all those years. That's awesome. 
that's a sick band. My condolences to you, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And then she put on it, and then she put on the bottom of the band, she put leader, boss, Superman, brother, husband, father, friend. Nice. So, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. So we should enjoy, we should be enjoying these out there in Cali. And uh, probably enjoy some other things while I'm in Cali. <laughs> Sunshine. Yep. Yeah, I'm going to enjoy some sunshine while I'm out there. Exactly. Sunshine of my love. <laughs> so these were made Guys, I... by uh, Providencia down in Texas. And um, they use a small factory in, uh, in Nicaragua. I mean, in Honduras to make them. Actually, I could smell it right here, man. It's got a nuttiness. I wanted the nuttiness, and they definitely starting to smell the nut on it now. It had like a mo little bit of ammonia when I first got them like a month ago, but starting to get that nuttiness that I wanted. It's, so we'll see. See how it turns out. How are you getting them out there? I'm bringing them in my fucking carry-on. you kidding me? That's you got the big one? Nah, just I'm just I got normal carry on bag and I just stick them in the air with you know some other normal things and Oh, you're not I'll keeping them in the Bovita packs or anything or Oh yeah, I'll have, I'll put a couple of Bovitas in for sure. You know, have them in bags. I'm thinking about bringing out small small humidor with me, you know, in that, you know, in the bag so when I go to the wet when I go to the wedding, I'll just Put them in the humidor mm. and uh, see how it works. But you know, like I said, most people are not big cigar smokers. There are a few that 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 are going to go that know cigars, so they'll appreciate them. Yep. I just don't want to. You know, I really don't want to see somebody smoke like a third of it, throw it away. It like oh, yeah. Pain, yeah. Painful. <laughs> yeah. It happens at every wedding, though. You know that. I know. I know. So in most weddings, though, right? Mm -hmm. Smoke a third of them. Oh, we'll see. It is what it is. I, it, it's a gift. It's just another gift from my goddaughter. So here you go. This is let's remember your dad, and um, you know he'll he'll be missed at the wedding, but we'll be smoking cigars in his name. Well, <laughs> so, yeah. That's really the idea. Yeah. It's an awesome tribute, that's for sure. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. She asked me. She says, "Uncle Jimmy, can you bring some cigars out?" I said, "I'm going to do you one better." I'm gonna blend my I'm gonna blend one just for him that represents his profile of a cigar. I knew this is this is the profile my brother likes. This wouldn't be one that I would normally smoke all the time, but he liked light bodied cigar. So it's got like a Habano, a light Habano wrapper on it, I believe, and um it's got some Sumatra in it and some light fills. There's no, I don't think there's any Lajaro in it at all. So it's just very smooth cigar. Sounds good. Oh, wait. Oh, man. Valdi is fifth inning. They take Valdi out. It's a 1 1 game with two outs in the top of the fifth. They take Valdi out. And he's, got, he's, got, he's got 95 pitches. Yeah. Uh, let, let's talk baseball real quick. What do you guys think of that new electronic system that they're using? That the infielders get to hear the the pitch that's coming. It's, it's weird, and I know the Yankees use it. The Red Sox don't, but the Yankees use it. Um, I, I I guess in one way it's 21st century. We're moving forward. Um, in another way, I hate changing the game. I just feel yeah. like there was a rule book written that seems to hold as good as the Constitution of the United States. Right. Yeah. You know. Um, every time they find some quirky thing, it's in the rule book. Somebody figured it out. It was in the rule book, right? And you know what? Stealing signs is part of the game. It's been yep, part yeah, of the game yeah. since the beginning For of the game. Time. That's so, right. That, you know, it, a, all the power, you know, if you're doing it as a player on the field, if you're a second baseman and your eyeballs are that good where you can see the sign and you can make a motion on your hat or whatever, that's that's the game. Part of the game. Man. Yeah, part <laughs> of the game. You don't, yeah, you don't right. think that someone's going to get uh, some cute computer science guy in there to start hacking the shit and being able of to get it? Of course they are. 
Right. You're damn right. right they're going to do that. Yeah, go sure. a couple of garbage pails and back. You're good. <laughs> I, I heard they're recruiting Bill Parcells. You got technology shit. going, you know that's going to happen, right? Yep. Somebody's going to have it in their Google Glasses or some shit. You know, it's tell yeah. them exactly what's coming. I mean, just, I, I just think it's just, it's weird. I was watching in preseason when they were doing it. And the first games with the, Yan- with the Yankees and the Red Sox, right? We, yeah. The Yankee catcher, you know, he's got to sit there. He's got the thing on his knee. Right, he's holding the mitt on the side. He's typing in it, typing in what he wants the throw to be. I'm like, yeah. One of the uh, the other uh, <laughs> the last uh, I think it was the couple game uh, what game it was. The pitcher couldn't hear couldn't hear what the yeah. hell. Right. <laughs> yeah. and he, and he, and he, no, he stopped. He's like, I can't hear it. I cannot hear it. <laughs> me. I think it, 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 you're losing you're losing the integrity of the game. Just leave and, it. Let it be, man. Leave it. The and hell. If you look at if you look at the at the game, right? If you think back, you know, I mean, you're talking stealing signs again, right? Look at what Jason Varitek did, right? Jason Varitek created. He put the he put the white tape on his fingers so the pitcher could easily see it. You know, the second right. baseman of the opposing team is seeing the same sign. <laughs> Yep. You think he right. gave a shit? No, because yep. he knew that his back, his his pitcher can throw the right pitch yep. to strike out right. the batter. Well, so so many catchers, so many catchers they, back in the day used nail polish too. Yeah, I was yeah. about to say that. Yeah, 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 nail polish. Colored nail yeah. polish on. Yeah. Nobody got to take whatever it takes. Yeah. So it, I, I want to know when does this transition to the the coach starting to throw the straight? You know, calling the pitches straight to the. You know, don't have an into. You know, don't have the catcher do it. Just have well, they the kind of do. They, the, uh, Ozzie, they send the Ozzie signals, Gian right? did that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Ozzie, some coach, some Ozzie coach called the, he called the pitches yeah. from the dugout. Yeah. Many, but many games. He was a control freak, though. That was Ozzy. That was Ozzy, but that's yep. how he he won ball games. But man, you couldn't. But you talk about Veritek. You couldn't find Veritek, Basada. They those guys just fucking called the game. They knew how to call the game. They knew how to work their pitches. They yeah. knew. How do you reports on them? And they just knew how to work their pitch. Yep. Well, it's like that movie with what's his name? If the uh, the bull, the the the, the bull movie. Bull. Yeah, bull yeah, yeah. Bulls, right? Bull Dorm, and yeah. Bull Dorm, bull. right? And and what's his name that plays the catcher? Right? He goes yeah. out to the to the hot shot pitcher and he tells him he goes, look. You got to throw him the heat, okay? You got to throw – no, you got to throw him this way. You got to throw him the slider. He goes, no, no, I want to throw him the heat. He goes, I'm telling you, you throw him the heat. He's going to hit the heat. No, he ain't going to hit my heat. And he goes back to the batter. He goes, he's going to throw you the heat. <laughs> and he goes back and he goes, did you tell him I was going to throw the heat? He goes, yeah. Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're trying to speed up the game. They're saying they're stupid, don't technology. Speak up. You know what they did? They're using the pitching clock in the minors, and they trimmed 20 minutes off the by using by staying strict on on that pitching clock. They've had that rule in the majors for the longest about the about the pitching clock. They don't enforce. It. They don't. Enforce no, it. next next year it's going to be enforced. It's going to enforce the pitching clock, and they're in for, They're trying to enforce the. The, the the time that the the batter can do his fucking glove right. shit and stuff, yep. and I'm all right. I, I don't like the second baseman in it. Extra, the sec guy on second in extra. No. Yeah, I the think that's runner. the dumbest yeah. rule in the world. Yeah. That, that screws up the yep. whole statistics of the ball game. Yeah, right. mm-hmm. absolutely. Leave it alone, man. Like, you're gonna, if you're gonna go yeah. 18 innings in a one-one ball game, I'm all in on that. I'm yeah. edge of my seat sure. watching that right. game. That 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 year in 04 with, with the Red Sox oh, game, I was up fucking all hours of the night watching them. <laughs> of course watching. we were. Leary and I'd go to work. I was like, yep. can I have an intravenous <laughs> coffee, please? <laughs> you have well, seen, though, the transition in the, the young pitchers that are coming up. They, you know, because they've been in the minors for the past like three, four years with the pitch clock. They are yeah. pitching a lot faster. Yeah, absolutely. So, you, okay. they, you know, a lot of these guys 
a lot of the pitchers prefer to pitch quick. They prefer to just get the ball and throw it. They don't like wasting that time. And we used to, I mean, there's countless pitchers that we would watch. Buckles was one of them. Buckles, when he started slowing down, he was getting all fucked up in the head. You, you, you just you knew when it was going to happen. So he knew, okay, here we go. He's going to start pacing them out. And he's gonna just So you knew his, he was off his game. That's when they had to go out and talk to him. But when those guys were pitching and they just go out, they fucking get the ball back, they line up, they go, and they pit, and they go. It, it just – I hate a lot of this this new technology. New, I like the fucking yeah. game. Well, I do Even, like the fact – the one thing I do like is that they they, they sped up the commercial break. Right? Yeah. I hated this, like, long commercial breaks between innings. Right. It's like, no, you get what what is it that I think they got like like two minutes or less. Yep. Yep. I'm all in on that. You know, fine. You know, and they're going to pay more money for their time because they got limited time. And people will watch the commercial because they're not getting up off their seat to get another something out of the kitchen. You know, they're into the game. I was absolutely fine with the instant replay. I thought it was really I thought it was absolutely necessary. What do you think of the National League getting the, uh, uh, the the designated hitter? I don't like it. I don't like no. the designated hitter in the first I don't place. Like it. Now they're on both sides. Nope, I hate it. It changes the, uh, the strategy of the game. Well, it, it, it changed the strategy for sure. And then they added – and then they had, you know, the whole – I think the whole concept of interleague play pisses me off. All right? It used to be yeah. – it used yeah. to be more of a an exhibition thing, right? right? And then it became part of the game. And then it became okay. The National League doesn't have to hit in the American League park with designated right. back and forth, all this bullshit. So now at least everybody's e- they're on an even playing field with it. It's like okay, so now everybody's got the same strategy, mm-hmm. right? So, but right. I'd rather That's... have it gone the other way and limited. Right. The right. We're not so, also. Uh... Like Nelson Cruz, he's what 43, 44? You have yeah. a DH. He'll never hit. He can play till he's uh whatever. If he's yeah. still hitting the way he's hitting. Yep. Wait so, till in that aspect, the... the player aspect, it's it's good, but I don't. I just, I just don't like it because it just changes the complexity of the game, and you know. Wait till they bring the aluminum bats in. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait for that day. You'll see, I can't guys. Wait for that day. Aluminum they'll, they'll... bats. Fifth inning only. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the perfect thing. Kershaw's pure pitching a perfect game, and you take him out. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. There, you, there was you no can't hitter. take are you, the pitcher, are you ready for perfect this? game pitcher out of a game. There's, there's only been two times where a pitcher's been pulled who had a no-hitter going into, like, the seventh game, right? Two times it's by the same manager. Two times really? in the three. Yep. That was that was pathetic. That was you don't you don't do that. I'm sorry. You know, you got 162 games a year. Okay. The guy's got a no no going, and you're gonna take him out. No, he deserves to get right. the no no a little He's, he's done that twice. He did that twice. Did it twice. That manager well, it's did not even twice. it's not even the no no, it's the perfect game. Right. Yeah, it's- Perfect. And that's what everybody complained about. If it was just a no-no and he had and he had a, a couple walks, he wouldn't have given a shit. Right. Well, no, that's yeah. a you got game. a perfect game. You want that on your record. <clears throat> yep. Yeah, two perfect you're games. In a, in you're in a whole new league ball. when that happens. That was last week or two weeks ago. Yeah. San Diego, the pitcher was pitching a, a no-hitter. It was, it, was the Do- a it was the Dodgers. Game. Right. Right, the Dodgers. No, oh, it was a perfect they, they game. Them out. It was a perfect. It was a perfect game. And no, not the San Diego game. The San Diego game was uh, there was a San, oh. I think San Diego against the. Uh, I, I forgot who it was, but it was San Diego. The guy was pitching a no hitter. He only walked one back. He was pitching a no hitter. I think he threw like seventy eight pitches, and they pulled him. He's it was pitch- the seventh inning. Wow. How do you do that? And then just only thing, had like seventy five pitches crazy. on that one too. You have Christ mm-hmm. show up throwing a, per, a no-no, a, a, a perfect, perfect game. He had a perfect game. And then you pull him. I didn't throw that many pitches. I, I mean, you, Seven, he, he was at 75. Him. Yeah. So how do you – I don't understand. Matter, but, no matter, but no matter what, he's pitching a perfect game. Why right. would you let him pitch? He gives up a hit then? Okay, fine. You gave it up. That's it. You're not going to get the perfect game. Then, I can, then I'll switch you up. 
Bro, but, what the fuck, bro? Like, all, it, that to me, it was like, uh, as a pitcher, bro, what the fuck? You got no cop? You like, in yeah. Kish, so it's, you know, he's, he, you know, he's not a, you know, a nobody, you know, in Kershaw. Right. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. It was all, it's all done because of a shortened spring, and they were on an 80 pitch count. That was it. That's amazing. Right. And yeah, they say he was a, they still have 162 games to play, and they, never, they still need him. The 80s and 70s with the pitchers. Are oh you my on god! Your mind? Are you on your mind? Yeah. Yep. When they had four man rotations and those guys were going every four days. Yeah. And the closer was closing on four innings. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Ridiculous! Ridiculous! And that closer. Uh, who was uh, the the guy that always um he's on the Yankees um played for the Yankees uh, I think it's Goose Goose Gossage yeah Goose he's Goose. the one that's like are you out of your you know like four innings what about for save there was no closers there was no this you pitched there was no middle reliever no yeah. you had the starter and then if the starter was getting demolished then you bring in another pitcher and then you had your close last three years how many Games have been pitched in the fucking majors. Nobody yeah. throws anymore. No. Maybe the Grom. I think maybe the Grom. Couple, yeah. Grom With is, the the Grom is the sad, sad to say. Sad to say. Yep. Guys, I gotta jump off. My daughter wants to watch a movie. Or whatever the princess wants, I gotta, I gotta give her. Fair enough. But, no, man. Danny. Thank you guys for. Uh, Doing this stick with us. I can't wait for Thursday. Thank you, Absolutely, John. We'll um, see you there, brother. We're all excited. On Thursday, John. Hopefully, everybody gets there. it. I'll see you guys soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thursday's going to be a good day. Yep. Be a good day. Oh. Ish hole. I can't. Oh. I can't. I hey, John, oh, John, Alex is going to need a fucking one of the street speakers to come to wipe away the moisture on the fucking street in front of the club. <laughs> Get it squeegee. Get it squeegee. I, I watched this uh, one thing today. I, I came across it with Nolan Ryan. Oh, uh, I was 42, and this guy <laughs> was a fucking machine, bro. Yep. A machine. Wasn't he? He was amazing. Yep. Go by go. There, there is no pitcher today that will even last to that and pitch on that level. No. Nope. No, I I totally agree. The dude was a stud, but I always wonder in the back of my mind, right? They never checked for any like steroids back then, anything else like that, or any you know like could he possibly have done it? Maybe and been one of the first pitchers that is doing it possibly, but you know like. I'm not, was, I'm not gonna take away from the dude. The guy, I like. I think I have every fucking baseball card of Nolan Ryan. Like growing up, you, you love that guy, even though he didn't play for your team. Mm-hmm. Yep, yeah. he was no. just a freak. He was a freak. That dude leaned back and throw a hundred. Uh, he was he was ridiculous. Like like Randy Johnson too. I mean that guy just fucking hurl the fucking ball. Oh, the one I always enjoyed watching was exploding um, the bird. Oh, oh that. Yeah. that was great. That's that a great is, video. That's the best one. You know, one I always enjoyed watching with the Red Sox was Wakefield. Oh my God! Oh, yeah. the knuckleball. He was. I'm... He has an ominous record. He has the most strikeouts. Yeah. He also has the most home runs given up of a pitcher. Because <laughs> <laughs> when his ball is <laughs> off, it's that out baby. of the park. Yep. <laughs> but when it's on. Yep. Man. When that knuckle ball took <laughs> off, man. And then it was uh, <laughs> yeah. I was a double header against Texas years ago. We were in a left field stands and uh it was raining out. Nolan Ryan was supposed to pitch the first game. It was one of his last seasons. And he was jogging the uh the warning track and he came over. It was me and what the other guy I was with. And as soon as he came <laughs> under us, we started clapping for him. And he looks up, tips his hat, and says, "Thanks, guys." I almost passed out. I'm like, "That's <laughs> fucking cool, right?" <laughs> We're beside ourselves. Don't yeah. think about it. Back then, you didn't have phones like we have. Yeah. Oh my right. god! Yeah. That's right. You have all this shit, right? Yeah. I, I remember going to a Red Sox game years ago when they were playing the Orioles, and it was the last season of oh. Cal Ripken. 
Oh my God. <laughs> and they're playing. I'm at Fenway and a friend of mine, she was the vice president at Bank Boston. So she she knew I was in town. She goes, You want to go to a Red Sox game? I said, Yeah. Well, we ended up in the Bank Boston seats, which just so happens to be right above the third base dugout. I yep. mean, literally <laughs> touched the dugout, right? Yep. And there you come out and then you see Cal Ripken doing warm ups right in front of you. And I'm just like, Right. Wow, I can, I can, it's in my head. The pitch is there. If I was an artist, I could draw it, but I can't because I'm not an artist. I hadn't, we didn't have cell phones and take pictures like we do. So it's all up here. We lost the game, but I tell you what, watching that legend play. Yep. Yeah. And that was I the had, last of the Orioles, if I remember. They didn't, they, they didn't do shit. <laughs> I don't think that, I, yeah, I don't that was haven't it. done anything. Yeah. The, my best memory in, in Fenway was with my dad. Um, a couple of years before he passed, and uh, we were there for uh, – they were playing Seattle, and we were right on the third – we were looking down the third baseline on the first base side, and it was Ken Griffey Jr. and Ken Griffey Sr. playing together. We were like – he looked at me, and he says, listen, he says, we'll leave if the score gets to be like 11-1 or something like that. He got a score. We fucking left, and the score was 11-1, and we watched both both Griffey's play, and I'd say – Ken Griffey Jr. and Daryl Strawberry, the two greatest swings I've ever seen in baseball. Yep. They're the greatest yep. swings ever. Yep. Daryl Strawberry, I think, has the best swing I've ever watched. Yeah. Strawberry, yeah. Strawberry, yeah. Strawberry, I mean, Strawberry, I mean, this, like you said, sweetest swing, the sweetest swing, man. And if he would have kept, you know, you know, well, that's what a little white powder does for you. Yeah. 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 Nice sweet swing. <laughs> it was steroids, right? It was the 80s. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. We're ready to go. Smoking that wasn't, that wasn't a rosin bag. bag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Except yeah. what, what they do is, is just so pretty. Smooth. Smooth. So smooth. So smooth. <laughs> Yeah, think if, if Griffey wasn't hurt all the time, think about how many home runs that guy would have. Like, yeah. like unbelievable. Yeah. yeah, exactly. He was so much fun to watch, man. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm a big White Sox fan, so I got to enjoy him when he when he played for the year with the White Sox. So that was that was really cool to watch. Did he play with Bo Jackson? No, Bo ja- I, I got to see Bo Jackson. I was when you guys were talking about pitchers. Being a kid, my dad, you know, his company had Sox tickets, right? And I had, I found him in the basement. These pictures, the like, actual pictures that I had to get developed. A fucking Bo Jackson in the on deck circle, and then up the back, because I creeped all the way up to the right behind home plate, was snapping pictures. It was awesome. With, your disposable With my disposable camera. camera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bo, Bo, Bo Jackson was a beast. Bo Jackson. Mm-hmm. I will tell you this. He caught hold of a fucking foul ball. I've never seen a foul ball fly so fucking far out of a park, right? Like, it missed being a home run because it just curved left, right? I was just like, that's the longest ball I've ever seen fucking hit in my life. It was unreal. Scaling the wall in Kansas City. Yep, that was awesome. When he just run up it. (laughs) That's crazy. (laughs) Then you you got guys that, you know, should be in the hall and they're not. Uh, you know, you know one, one of my favorites one of my favorite Yankees is Mattingly. Mattingly, I mean I think I think he deserves I think you know that's just me saying, but I think Mattingly the guy was it's clutch. Clutch. Yeah. clutch. Oh my god. Yeah, John, I agree with you. Pete Rose should be there. Yeah. Didn't didn't have any performance in anything. Yeah. You know, they, they should make they, they no. should fix that problem and they should put him in. Enough of the bullshit. Yeah. Yep. Still one of the greatest baseball players that ever lived. That, that machine, machine, that fucking those Reds, they were crazy. Do you remember when he took the, the catcher out in the All Star game? All Star oh. game. <laughs> <laughs> I think he had his career. Yep. He played like that all the time. It was a rough, rough rolling guy, man. Yep. Charlie, Charlie Hutzel, man. Charlie Hutzel. You know, it'd be different if he was betting against the team and he was tanking games. He's betting on his own fucking team. 
No, nah, he never bet. He 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 bet. He never bet that his team would lose. <laughs> right. If he bet that his team would win, and he helped them win, well, okay, I'm all right with that. I don't give a shit. You know, and that was all. He bet that his team would lose, and he was he was throwing a game like the White Sox did years ago. Yeah, the the plaque. Yeah, oh. fifty nine. Guys, I gotta jump. I gotta put our little one to bed. One of one of the littles. Okay. Great night. Thanks for having me. Love you guys. Take care. A little bit. Were you guys sitting in a Papa John's? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we actually converted our garage into a Papa John's. <laughs> no, Does it really uh, allow smoking in a Papa John's. <laughs> yeah. Well, only in uh, only in Chicago land area. Um, <laughs> no, my wife. Uh, works in construction and uh they were they were leveling like the strip mall or whatever and there was an old papa john's in there and um literally they literally left every fucking thing in there to and there's like screw it you know we don't we don't want it so she's like hey you want to grab the truck and come get some shots? i was like hell yeah so we got this big ass cooler and i was like i was like do you think we can get one of those big pizza makers right and she's like there's two of them here if you want to try I tried to lift up the fucking leg, just like the steel leg. Dude, the steel uh, leg weighed 400 fucking pounds, and there was four of them. I was like, cool, I'll take the cooler. Yeah. <laughs> it was unreal. Jimmy, I'm glad you asked that question, because that, that has been on my mind since the first time I heard with these guys. I asked a hard question. <laughs> you know, that's it, man. Jimmy, that's why I love you, baby. <laughs> there it is. It, 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 it got me when she said, because I wasn't paying as much attention to it. So she said she had to go put the kids to bed. I'm looking, well, you live a, in a Papa John? <laughs> yeah, we have little pizza makers running around the house. Yeah. <laughs> we're training them, right. Hey, uh, just, um, Brian's, uh, just what we're talking about, in my club, we had the fr regular fridge, huge, it burnt out it burnt out we had to get rid of it we were, you know, we're gonna get a new fridge this and this and that um one of our members Vinny, uh aldi knows him he goes forget about the fridge and he comes in one day on a pickup truck with over it's the not the sliding door once the open open door one bro it was the best thing i we ever did what are you going to do? Stack it. We stack <laughs> that thing with beers. Everything in there, in your mother that you could think of. Leftovers. It has that, spe we have one shelf of leftovers. It's there. Uh, it's the best thing. Best fucking thing. The best yeah. thing you want to have in your car. Best thing. When I grew up in what in New York, I went to college in Brooklyn. And I had a paternity house right on Clinton Avenue. Oh. of the cow, right? So one of my brothers, fraternity, his father was in the fire department. So he got a fire plug, right? And what we would do is we put the fire plug out on by the sidewalk, right? So there's always a parking spot in front of the fraternity house. There's always <laughs> going to park in front of a fire plug. It was a real fire plug. So you would... Drive up, you park the car, you take the fire plug, bring it in the house. You leave, you bring the fire plug out, you put it in the house, and then your brother shows up. And I always said to myself, you have a fire plug in your car. You just take the fire plug out, you stick it anywhere you want, you got, and now you got yourself a spot. <laughs> All right, guys, I got to get it off. It's great. All right, Danny, have a great night, man. Can't wait for the Thursday. All right, Nick. Good night, Dan. Good night, Dan. I'm uh I'm actually gonna do the same, so yeah I'm gonna book you too. Uh, Me too. I'm Mark. I'm gonna troll you on Instagram, so uh don't be jumping off to go be famous. All right. All right. Listen, <laughs> I gotta I gotta make two phone calls, and then if someone requests, I'll get in. Uh... <laughs> but once once this is done, then I am going to bed. What do you what, was that a Punisher? No, it's a surrogates. Oh, Seven, sorry, Sam. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slow burner. Enjoy, brother.
All right, guys. I'm going to no. jump too. Love you guys. Right. Thanks for having me. This was awesome. We'll see you next time. Right. Peace, man. Later, man. Peace. Well, uh, I'll uh, see some of you guys uh, soon. Two days. Two Thursdays. You're going to be Thursday. back, Joe? No, no. I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to stay down here in Florida, unfortunately. You're better uh, off. Better weather. Yeah. Unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, unfortunately, unfortunately not, I'm just going to like. Fortunately. <laughs> just, just shove that into you. He's like, fuck you guys. I'm over here looking at the sun. Fuck you guys in your fucking yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm back to Florida chilling. now. Oh, you got I'm in Florida, baby. Water lit up blue. I came. Look at that. For, uh, Jimmy, Yo, matches your the cup kids. there. Matches That's your it. cup. It looks good. Plan looks that. Good. Blue lights, a blue That's cup, it. and a blue Boom. shirt. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, Jimmy, I came down with just the kids this time. Okay. So I left the wife at home. So we're having yeah. fun. We're having fun. Enjoy. That's Enjoy. All right. Absolutely. Huh. Guys, we good? See you guys uh, on the next one. You got it, brother. Well. Have a great All night. Right. So, Joe, are you going to go to the you going to the the uh, the Drew Estate Bond Smoker, Connecticut? No, you know th this year doesn't um, didn't work out for me. I mean, I wanted to go to the Pennsylvania one. Uh, I had I had a ticket and actually I gave it to somebody. Um, just the dates just didn't work out for me this year. I wanted to go too because um, I haven't been to one in a couple of years. All you right. know the last couple, the last couple of ones that they sent us the bag of swag and shit, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you know it's it's not the same than going there and smoking with these guys and hanging out, seeing everybody. But uh, I know Nick and Danny. I think Pat, you guys are all going, right? I'm going to the one in Florida in two weeks, and then the one in uh, Connecticut. Yeah. But you I'm going, going on Saturday. Florida in two weeks. That's in what? What, what is that again? Oh, uh, that's in Orlando, I think. Somewhere in Orlando. No, I know where it's in Claremont area. Yeah, like that's Claremont. where it is exactly. That's what May fourteenth. Uh. 14th and the 15th, if I'm not mistaken. 14th, 15th. So yeah, it's a Saturday, I might, Sunday thing. I might be. Yeah, swing, I might find myself swinging over there. I'll be, I'll be there the week before, yeah. but not that weekend, unfortunately. Yeah. It's funny. I'll be the one there on the 13th in Orlando, and I'm leaving the 14th to come back to New York. Ah, nice. Oh. That's a day trip right there, huh? No, I'm going down the whole week before for my niece's first birthday, but mm. uh, unfortunately, I have to come back. So I'm leaving the 14th from Florida. So many Even things I wanted to do down in Florida, but when you when you're with the whole family, it's kind of difficult. Oh, it's yeah. hard, man. Yeah, uh, no. I was, what, that's the way I was when I was in DC yeah. last week. Went up for my see my my stepdaughter, and then you know, so then it's all like family stuff, and you can't smoke anywhere in the hotel grounds where we were at. So it's, it's go outside on the street on Pennsylvania Avenue and 26, and sit on a on, on a on a stone wall and, you know, and, you know, and just find a place the White to House. a cigar, you know. Of course, I walk around smoking a cigar all the time, right? You know, I, I went to the Arboretum, right? And the Arboretum is pretty cool. Because you, I don't know if you've ever been to D.C. and did many things. Most people do the normal shit. Right, right. First time you're there. So I, I didn't, we didn't want to do it. I didn't need to do any of that. So my, my stepdaughter says, you go to the Arboretum. I said, that's cool. So... The Arboretum actually has you walk through this open ground area and up on a hill, there are these stone columns just sitting there on the hill. And I'm like, what the fuck is that? Those are the original stone co columns from the uh, U.S. Capitol. They replaced them. Those are the original ones when Abraham Lincoln was in and all of that. And then they replaced the columns and they put them in the Arboretum. And I said, this is the strangest thing to see because in a thousand years from now, somebody's going to go look at this and be like, what the hell is this? And why is this here? There's no structure. There's a, what yeah. was this? <laughs> yeah, and then we went through a section where it was all the bonsai trees. I love bonsai trees. I think if I, when I retired as something I might do as a hobby, just play with a bonsai tree. Bonsai tree. <laughs> but they have these things are all donated from countries all around the world, mostly Japan, right? And there was one there that was from 1625. Wow. Wow. Think about that. 1625, 400 year old wow. fucking tree that was only Sick. like two and a half feet high and about three feet wide. Uh. 
and it's 400 years old. Wow. <laughs> Who's in charge of pruning that thing? They have special people. They got <laughs> bonsai experts, the society that goes in and prunes and does all the work on them. So, you know, wow. but there was some amazing. T- and of course, you walk, as soon as you walk into that area, it says no smoking. I got a, I got a <laughs> all fired up in my hand from walking around. I'm not throwing it away. So I just <laughs> held it in my hand, you know, hoping it just gently went out, you know, which it did. You know, and I say, what are you going to do to me? Kick me out? All right. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> reading about Jimmy in the news. Florida <laughs> man burns down 400 year old Japanese uh, bonsai. <laughs> <laughs> bonsai tree. Then, then she takes us out. Then she takes us out one night. She she she's into like she's so retro. All right, that you know she's like 20s, late 20s, right? And she's so retro. She has a whole record collection and she's big into like the old, you know, the old punk rock, new wave, all of that stuff, which I love. I'm like, this is beautiful. I love you. I love this girl. Right. (laughs) So she takes us out to this place called Slash Burn and Slash Burn is a burger joint. Right. That you don't know where it is. You'd never go there. Right. But you got to know about it. So you walk in this place and it's grungy. It's, it reminded me of like CBGB's. Where you go Ow. in. It's a punk Ow. rock. It's a punk rock club, but they have food and drink, right? And they set the tables up. And you sit down. You get a table and you get in your menu. And then all of a sudden, it's like getting close to the band. The band's gonna come on, right? And they come around and collect eleven dollars from everybody because the band's on, right? So I had another forty-four dollars out of my pocket. I was like, whatever. And the, there's these three platforms by the window and they take the tables. They don't seat people at certain tables after a certain hour. They move all the tables away and they bring out, they make that platform. They pull those out to make the stage. So I'm literally sitting about eight feet away in a, at a table eating this nice juicy freaking great hamburger. And they, this band comes on in front of you. Right. And if I can describe it the best way, it was the roar. It was a warm-up band, but it was the rawest, most terrible, loud, distorted, <laughs> fantastic music. I mean, it was just so, just oh man, this is so 1970s punk. I it's mean, as soon school. as they plugged in the guitar, you knew to turn it up to eleven, and all the distortion. To make up for every little mistake, you got, you, you, got made. you got people jumping over <laughs> stage diving over your head. <laughs> they didn't do that, yeah. I, you know, but they and the, you know, just screaming in the microphones, and I'm like, this is like Ramones on steroids. <laughs> this is so beautiful. And I looked at my daughter, my my daughter, my my stepdaughter, like going, I, I really do love you, man, because you know what I like, and this is, you like this too. This is cool. <laughs> Slash burn. It's a right. lost, it's a lost art. It's a lost art. Yes, it is. Thank you guys for having me, man. It's awesome. I can't wait for Thursday. Uh, nice to meet you, man. I wish I wasn't wow. four hours away. <laughs> <laughs> Frankie, I'll see you tomorrow night. See you later, John. See you guys later, Pat. Later. Yeah, Frankie, it is it is a lost art. You know, it's you know, I always tell people when you go down the list of some of the greatest rock and roll bands, the most influential rock and roll bands in history, number two in my book is the Ramones. Ramones, absolutely. Hands down. They transformed, they took punk and made it mainstream. Mm -hmm. They so many bands followed them, gave them tribute. I mean, Green Day. All about the Ramones, yeah. even oh. on their, their Dookie yeah. album, yeah. you just see yeah. all the stuff mm-hmm. was Ramones stuff. Yeah. yeah, a couple of them grew up over here in Forest Hills. Mm-hmm. Right, I used to hang out. I used to hang out at CBGB, right hill, and, right where I live, man, where I grew up, and I still live. They so I used to them. hang out at a place called Beggar's Opera in Queens Village. Back in the 19, late 70s, okay, a place called Beggar's Opera. And Beggar's Opera was, A, the home of Twisted Sister, 
Okay. That was like their main, one of their main places to play. And <laughs> the Ramones played there on a regular basis. I never would have thought somebody would bring that up, man. I mean, I, 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 mean, I you know, I'm young, I, you know, younger, you know, with that, but, you know, growing up with, with that music, you know, and learning from it, it the whole thing that you just brought it up, man. That, that's New York Dolls. New York Dolls. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. And then, so, you know, there are people that, like, know of, like, Lou Reed, but they don't know that Lou Reed was the New York Dolls. Oh, right. 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 They is, don't know who the New York it, Dolls are. Right. They know right. Lou Reed. The backstory, the backstories is that that the people don't know. The people, it's first glam band. They had all the get up, all the makeup, dressing up like uh, putting on dresses and whatever they had to do. Yeah, right. whatever they wore. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I, I, mean, I saw the Ramones like a bazillion times in my life. Matter of fact, my my first wedding, my we went on our honeymoon was in Virginia Beach. So we drove down from New York to Virginia Beach back in 1984. No, yeah, 84. And as we drive in, there's a venue there, and it's the Ramones are playing. So my, my ex-wife and I were big Ramones fans. So it was like, let's go see the Ramones on our honeymoon, right? <laughs> It was the hottest day of the year. It was like 95 degrees. We walk into this club and it is stifling hot, right? And the Ramones get on stage and they just went ballistic, right? Like they do. Leather jackets, sweat just pouring off of them, just nonstop, two minute, two and a half minute, like strummings. And you're just watching this, and everybody in the place is just sweating balls, but having a great time. Great time. <laughs> yeah. That's what it yep. is. And I can tell you the story about the death of disco, too. I saw it in front of my own eyes. So, any records and stuff? <laughs> back, no, back in 1980, there, there was. There was a club in Brooklyn called Lemours. It was a big disc. Lemours. Oh my Lemours. God. You brought oh, that yeah. back. All right. You know, a lot now, of Lemours, they uh, decided that they wanted to shift slightly and do some top 40 music thrown in with the disco. Right. So they were interviewing, they were, this is the story. They were interviewing bands to do top 40. So Twisted Sister, D. Snyder and his boys, they put their hair up in hats and they go in with no makeup <laughs> and they interview, they do the thing, they play some top 40 songs and they get the gig. Now on WLIR radio, it comes out that Twisted Sister is playing at Lemoore's. And we're all like, what the fuck at the fuck? <laughs> yeah, this guy is <laughs> Frank, right? So we all go, we're going to go. Right. So we walk into this place. Now you had to have a college shirt, no ripped jeans. Right. So everybody had the old Huckapoo shirts, you know, that we had. Mm-hmm. And we went in, we go in, and it's there's like two stores, there's like two levels, right? To get the down level with the sta- right. band stage, and it was like an upper right. balcony. So when you walk in, there's all these rockers are hanging out with their long hair and the Huckapoo shirts and whatever. Mm-hmm. And up top, they've got all these people, all these disco boys with slick back hair and the three-piece suits and shit. And they got some warm-up bands that were just kind of, you know, normal main, mainstream rock and roll. Twisted Sister gets on stage. And the first thing they do is disco sucks. Right? And the crowd went ballistic i mean insanely ballistic the mirrored the mirrored balls that were hanging above the stage get torn out of the ceiling and smashed on the ground okay the ceramic flower pots that are all around the place are being smashed on the floor people throwing stuff and beer bottles are flying and and the band's playing and doing their thing, and it's just going on, and, and it's complete <clears throat> pandemonium. And it, there's no cops, there's no bounces breaking this up. It the place is destroyed, 
right? At the end of the Twisted Sister set, right? Four o'clock, three thirty, four o'clock in the morning comes around, right? That's the last set. Everybody leaves. Lamores is closed, right? They have to do something. A couple of months, three months, whatever, go by. You hear on WPLJ, Lamores, Brooklyn's premier rock and roll club. <laughs> <laughs> the whole thing with the publicity stunt to destroy the place Please. so the insurance would pay to fix it and turn it into a rock club. Right. And at that point, every disco in the metropolitan New York area switched venue to rock and roll. Right. They toppled like dominoes. And I saw, and you could actually search on YouTube <clears throat> and look for Twisted Sister 1980s, the Moors, you could put all of that shit in there. And that it'll come up. That comes up, and you'll see the mirrored ball get pulled out of the seat <laughs> in this grungy video that somebody made. All right. Of that I'm looking, I'm trying to find myself in the video. I'm <laughs> like, I know I'm there. <laughs> I I, my own eyes. Wow. Uh, right. Yeah. But they, that was just that, that was the heyday of rock and roll. That was yeah. it's never like that anymore. And and you won't be no. able to rep- you will never be able to replicate. They try they try to open when they closed it, I think a few years ago, they tried to reopen one up here in Staten Island, the Moise, but yeah. it didn't last too long. No. It, it, no. It's hard to have these live yeah. clubs. It's too There's expensive. No to yeah. bring a band in. I mean, I have yeah. them here. I got a couple of places here to have some live music, some bands that play. But it's not like it used to be. No, no. You know, yeah. it, you know with big clubs, and little yeah. bars, big right. clubs, right. With band stages, and three, yeah. four bands. Five, it's like going to a band jam, you know, yeah. for like five yeah, hours. Yeah, it was great. Oh, yeah. yeah those are good times in the months. Because there were two of them. There was one in Queens and the one in Brooklyn. I think yeah, the one in Queens yeah. was Lamar. This is the one that was in Brooklyn. Second Street. Right. 16th Avenue. Yeah, and I think down the block was where they shot the Saturday Night Fever. They shot where well, they shot part of it in Lamar. Right. 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 Exactly. Yeah. Now, if yeah. I'm mistaken, Lamar's and everything like that, uh, Frank Drunken Corner has got a whole story with this because his pop owned the. Uh, the clubs. He had a couple of. Uh, I don't know if it was. I can't remember. He, he he had told us the story on one of the herbs with the whole thing. The bon Jovi story. Right. Right. That's right. Sorry. No, yeah. Was, but he, 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 yeah, his his pop was like big with these clubs and everything like that. And he had the club in Brooklyn, and then Lamore's <laughs> pop and everything like that. And we, you know, I, you know, some of the people are like, what the fuck is Labor? Bro, yeah. Labor's, hey, you're you're out of the, you know, you don't know. It, 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 it's yeah, fuck. it's a, you'll never re, 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 you'll never have that again. Not gonna have that anymore. No, no, it's it's a long, long lost time. Yeah. yeah. But you know, with, with all you know, with, with with the great credit to Twisted, my, my wife can't stand Twisted Sister. She can't stand Dee Snyder. But <laughs> Dee Snyder the other day came out with a quote. He said, "Never in his wildest dreams would he have thought that we're not going to take it has turned into a folk song." Uh, he goes, "I created a folk song. It's going to uh, live on forever. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> yep. It's an anthem, man. It's done. Yes." Yeah. <laughs> All right, All right fellas, I'm going to jump off. Yeah, I'm going to jump off, too. I think when I jump off, the, the call's going to end, so I'm sorry. All right, JoJo. All right, man. JoJo was a man who thought he was a... <laughs> <laughs> I was going to rub some more Nutella on him to get a little bit more tan. <laughs> <laughs> early tomorrow, you know, I got I got carrot oil. Uh, you know, I got a... <laughs> carrot oil. Carrot oil. <laughs> carrot oil. Carrot oil, carrot juice, <laughs> man, you know, I got to I gotta look good back north. <laughs> <laughs> All right.
right, guys. Have a good night. Frank, I'll see you on Thursday. Take it Nick, easy, you too, right, Nicholas? You're going, you're going to be there Thursday? I will be there. Guys, thanks for everybody for see jumping up. I really appreciate it. All right, it. guys. Good night. Uh, Take care, man. Thanks for having me. Yeah.